I'll be good, I promise. I'll go straight to school. Come on, come on. Maybe I will go and play. I will go with you. Oh, now I'm turning donkey. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Take it easy every day. No hard work, that's the way. Now I see a sharky. Hope my daddy saves me. Pinocchio, brave but foolish boy. Change your ways, stop being a naughty puppet toy. Daddy could be talking to a post. I'll always be a puppet. Puppets just the most. Okay, girls and boys. famous battles which took, actually took place in ancient Japan. So here's this giant enemy crab. What I'll do is use Benkei here to <clears throat> flip over this crab on his back. Let's see if he shows up. And you attack its weak point for massive damage. <clears throat> Giant crab, enemy crab, giant crab, giant enemy crab, enemy crab, giant crab, based on Japanese history, giant crab, enemy crab, giant crab, giant enemy crab, giant crab, enemy crab, actually took place in ancient Japan. Massive crab, massive damage, massive crab, being based on history. Massive crab, massive damage, massive crab, based on Japanese history. Attack is weak point, massive damage. Attack is weak point, massive damage. Flip over this crab on its back. Attack is weak point, massive damage. Attack is weak point, massive damage. Attack is weak point, massive damage. Genji 2 is a giant enemy crab, based on Japanese history. Being based on history. This is Kirk the Cowardly Dog. Support Tennings on Patreon. You can get your name after every video. Polls deciding future game reviews. Outtakes and scripts. Ah! Mario! Oh! Bop bow. Hello, hello, hello. Happy. What are we? Thursday? Happy Thursday, everybody. Welcome to another stream. Because we're still here. It's our fate just to stream. Uh, hello to everybody in the chat. How are you all doing? I hope you're having a terrific day. Shaka, do a do. What a quack quack. I saw a Tika in there. Jump, Resner. Hello, Pingus Cult. And a Merry Pingus back to you. Poke Mario. Um, who else? Matt Rex, how are you? Uh, Matt Rex has been busy guessing which Blast game we're going to be playing on the stream today because, yes, indeed, there will be a Blast game. Bombs in the chat, uh, but I think I, I won't reveal it just yet. Just like you know, to add some mystery and suspense into the stream. Um, who else have we got? JP Ronnie, did I say your name already? Uh, I don't. There's loads. Silfella and HQ. I hope everybody is having a wonderful, wonderful day. Um, Gaming Lyric, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Let's launch it to you. Uh, Tennings, have you heard? Of oh shit! Pixie. You're a really gifted speaker. Pixie with 27 months in the cult! <laughs> Holy Mother Mary! Pixie, thank you, thank you so much! She says, adding tired knife from the lurking den. Oh god. Uh, do you know what? I am the exact same. I feel like today I just have not woken up. You know the kind of way you're just kind of like floating through your day? It's like you're a ghost. And the lighting I have on right now is like quite white as well. I, I I'm not this pale. I'm not a vampire. But um, yeah, I just, I, I haven't been able to... Get into my, my, my zen, as I say. Uh, Pixie, thank you so much for 27 fucking months. That's a, an awful long time. That's more time than people live. <laughs> um, oh my god. So yeah, uh, as the, the title of the stream suggests, we're going to be playing some budget PS2 games. I have six lined up. Who knows how long we'll be playing them for? 
um, and I will reveal them as we go. But uh, this is the type of stream that I quite like because it just means whenever a game is getting a bit boring, we just um, take it out of the PS2 and fling it out the window at a child and hope that uh, we, we do some damage. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so one of them being a blast game and the others are, we have a Phoenix Games game in here. Um, we have a Blast Games game and some publishers that I've never heard of. So, look, it's going to... Oh, oh I hope I didn't give any away there. Um, it's going to be fun, but the first game we will be playing is a little game called... World Super Police! By our good friends at Midas Interactive. Uh, exactly, HQ. More variety, more tennis, more pingus. We don't have pingus, but... Uh, yeah, we're, we're going to be... Um, a member of the World Super Police today. Excuse me. I have the game box somewhere. I just couldn't find it. That's how many games I have now in the apartment. I just like, I have them stored away somewhere and I can't find it. It's probably in the hot press. So sorry about that. But I do have the disc all stored in my massive, big, huge, uh, Teddy's folder of misery. So, um, that's the game we shall be playing. I hope you will all be satisfied. We'll play for maybe a max half hour and then we'll move on to the next one because we can't spend too long. How, like, when I was picking out the games for today, I was like, okay, what game will take a maximum of, of 30 minutes from start to finish to complete? How could a game called World Super Police be long? I guess we'll find out. Um, but anyway, look, let us dive right in. Pop! You're a really gifted speaker. Pixie got an alert again. Because she's such a queen, she gets two alerts. <laughs> That's for you, well done. I don't know, my alerts just really like you, I guess. 48 cult members! How fantastic. Maybe we'll get... Half... <laughs> I don't know, what's a fancy word for a hundred? A century? Half a century of subscribers. I'm a pro streamer. <laughs> mm. Oh my god, okay. Jellico. Wasn't Jellico on uh, Spy Fiction? Oh, we finished Spy Fiction, by the way. That's something I forgot to talk about. We'll talk about it in a bit. Oh, shit. We have an intro movie. <laughs> Play that funky music. Monster trucks! Oh, fucking hell. Oh my god, do we have a good game? Mammalions! Oh my god! Slowest motion shot I've ever seen. <laughs> Let's go, World Super Police! We're in the desert now! That's a very quick city. Oh, shit. We have missiles. This is gonna be the fucking greatest game of all time. Boss, it turns out a six-year-old child had commandeered that monster truck and, uh, we're afraid he didn't make it. Uh, okay. Fucking World Super Police. Who knew that this much effort to quince this? Listen to that song. Remember, what was the other game that we played once and when the menu came on, it was like the fucking greatest menu theme. It was a, we were a police bike person. Remember? Uh, police chase down or something? Anyway. Big up. I think maybe police chase down it's called? Yeah, I don't think it's sure. New game. Oh god, I hope there's cutscenes. Oh 
Oh shit. Uh, World Super Police or Gallery? Uh, you can't... Oddly, you can't do training <laughs> when you first start the game. You think that might be the first place that you you might start? And then you could also do a Royal Rumble. A Royal Scramble. It's like the... Wish.com Royal Rumble. Let's go. I almost want to get that game entirely for that menu song. I know, it, it, it's so good. I need to rip that and put it in like our little musical montage that we start to stream with. Um, I hope this has a very in-depth story with lore. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> the Blue Wing or Red Hawk? Wow. So, where's... You can play in Japan or the USA. Where will we go? Are we a chat full of weebs or a chat full of freedom lovers? <laughs> Let's go Blue Wing. We'll go to Japan. Fuck it. I've always wanted to go to Japan. WSP, <gasps> oh my the God. Super Police, was a special task force set up to combat the increasing traffic crime within USA and Japan. Only those two places. Blue Wing of the WSP Japan headquarters. He was patrolling the city. What a voice. Then an emergency call came in. This was the call that led him to his destiny. He has a destiny. This game is going there. This game is going to be fucking great. <laughs> Whenever a game says the character has a destiny, you know you're in for some Chase mental bank shit. robbers. Chase bank robbers. Is that just a general life advice or is it the name of the level? I don't really know. Should I press something? No, it went away all on its own. Here we go. Louie, this is headquarters. Over. Oh, it's a good this game. This is Matsudaira. Over. Matsudaira? A bank heist in Chuo Ward, 7th District, in the city central. The perpetrators are a group of two or three. They rob the bank of cash. It is. It was a very stark graphical downgrade from <laughs> that lovely CGI sequence. Seventh district. They've blown up the bank. Normally, it's for the national police, but the perps have been sided with firearms, so it's ours now. Please head there and go after the perpetrators. Okay. Matsudaira, Roger. Here we go. We have reports that they are heavily armed. Approach with caution. I'm not worried about pistols. The vehicle is on. This is a new vehicle. We don't have firepower. Well, we then why are we driving it? Firepower. We are now consulting with the National Police. Who's that? Either way, we can't let them out of sight. That's clearly the same voice actor. Follow. It's meant to be a different character. And? Captain Robert and his men are on another <laughs> mission. got the same guy to we have to go at it alone. You are alone, Matsudaira. Our hands are tied. We can't be of assistance. I know you can do it. I'm counting on you. Roger. That was my feeling, Shaka. Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, right. So, let me know if the volume is okay. So, I'm just holding X, I presume, and that's driving. Well, they had to keep the illusion of voice acting up. I guess so. It turned into like a Phoenix Games release there for a second where the one guy is just doing the voices for everybody. Look, we'll forgive it. Okay. That was that. Target vehicle up ahead. Apprehend them. I'm going to apprehend you. Whoa, look at that puppet. A fucking entire tunnel and building just like goes blip. Hello. You're kind of right, Shaka. Yeah, it feels like we're going at a steady 20 miles per hour. I'm just going to turn this down a little tiny bit. This is Matsudaira to Blue Wing Headquarters. Target vehicle apprehended. Apprehended? This is Blue Wing Headquarters. Roger. Please keep going after them. Currently, the National Police has roadblocks on the expected route of target. Okay. Keep going after them until the roadblocks Stop are Stop telling hit. me to keep going after them. 
Matsudaira, Roger. Okay. What's your name, Matsudaira or Roger? I don't know what you're saying. Here we go. Yeah, like, I, I don't think the game understands the meaning of apprehended. It might just be a translation error. Oh my god, what do you want now? Roadblocks in place. Okay, you could have just told me that when I'm driving. Stay close. We do not want to lose them. Sandwiches. Oh, he didn't say Matsudaira that time. Okay. Oh, they're firing at me! Oh, they got stuck. Oh shit! What the? Whoa! What? What? I don't know what I just did wrong. <laughs> they just suddenly set fire to me. <laughs> okay. Right. So uh, that just went from zero to like nine thousand very, very quickly. That's gonna make me do the whole fucking shit again. Dep <laughs> it makes you start again. Chase God bank damn robbers. it, Matsu Nairo Roger. You're meant to be better than this. So much of that fucking new car anyway. Jesus Christ, you'd imagine with a new car, and, like, they might have made it a bit more bulletproof than two seconds. Here we go. Oh, please tell me you can skip this. You can't. Oh, they are out of their minds. What did they? You can't skip this shit? I know. The perpetrators are a group of two or three. Oh, my God. The perps are in a white van. Teddy's watching the opening cutscenes. Is this going to be a good game? Teddy's exactly. That's pretty close. Shit. I can't believe they've done this already. It's like the, it was such an easy game over. So it's ours now. Oh my god. Why would you make this shit unskippable? Perfect, says Megamatic. No, not perfect. Right. A fucking armored car! It exploded in a second! Approach with caution. Yes. I'm not worried about pistols. Why? Oh it is? This is a new vehicle. Oh! We don't have firepower. We can't fight them without firepower. We are now consulting with the national police. Either way, God. we can't let them out of sight. Instructions will follow. Captain Robert and his men are on another mission. Why does he voice this guy like alone. as if he's the most bored human being alive? Alone, Our hands are tied. God. We can't be of assistance. I know you can. Do I don't it. know, Sarah. I'm, I'm so annoyed. I wanted to see um, Matsu Daira Roger's destiny. What could his destiny be apart from being a member of World Super Police? Which, like, if I could say I worked for World Super Police, I think I'd be the happiest man alive. I really would. It's like, is there a cooler sounding police force to be a part of? NYPD? <laughs> How about World Super? Oh, did they really do it? Do <laughs> Guess the World Super Police is a real sad place, a bad salary, maybe so. At least there's lots of um, talking. Target vehicle up ahead. Yeah. Apprehend them. I gotta apprehend them. Oh my god. I'm just going to stay way back from them this time around, because... <laughs> the other thing was, I, I didn't know how to break when I got a game over there uh, a few minutes ago. What feels like about an hour ago, but look. This is Matsudaira to Blue Wing Headquarters. Target vehicle apprehended. Liar! This is Blue Wing Headquarters. Roger. Please keep going after them. Currently, the National Police has roadblocks on the expected route of target. Keep going after them until the roadblocks are finished. Okay. Matsudaira, Roger. Keep going after them. So essentially, do nothing. I could do the exact same strategy from um, back at the office. Anyway. Oh. Wing headquarters to Matsudaira. Roadblocks in place. Keep after them. We'll sandwich them. I love this music. Stay close. We do not want to lose them. Roger. Oh my god.
kind of becomes a lot less exciting when you just have to tail them, you know? Keep going after them, exactly! <laughs> this isn't very super, game. And how long do we do this? Like, where is this roadblock? Oh god, yeah, the siren. You're right. Wow, this is uh this is quite the level. <laughs> oh, here we go. Good. Disappointed! We were oh, able shit. to apprehend the perpetrators of the Why are we in Paris? Still, violent traffic crimes were on the increase. We had the duty to protect the okay. innocent from you the can't violence. keep saying destiny! This was our destiny. <laughs> as long as we were members of the WSP team. <laughs> oh, it is? Sorry, Shaka. Oh. Wow. How the fuck was that only 2 minutes 17? That felt like a lifetime. Okay, and uh, you get leaderboards because I'm sure everyone will be clamoring to play the fucking level again. New car, the SPZ Basara Type Stealth. I love stealth cars. They just hit me constantly in the street. <laughs> we will have fresh members. That sounds like a threat. Oh god, she's quite bright there on the, um... Oh, I know why, sorry. Just give me one sec, I'm gonna fix this. Um, I remember we were playing Spy Fiction and I turned up the brightness ever so slightly. So let me just get rid of you. There we go. Now Kawas looks nice. Uh, okay. I'm Takeshi Joe. I specialize in data analysis. Man, the muscles on him. Jesus Christ. And he has, like, no ribcage anymore. Right. I'm Katsutoshi Tomisaka. I'm tough. I'll fight <laughs> to the end. Alright, project much Katsutoshi? I feel like uh, a, a real person would, would introduce themselves that way. I wonder if I am Maya Zumi. Oh. I'm honored to be here. Anything else, Maya Zumi? Are you tough? Will you fight to the end, or...? No. I'm just Mayazumi. <laughs> uh, Tays like those people on Facebook who make fun of see a picture of random transmission tower to ask is... Did that not look like the Eiffel Tower? I mean, come on. Sorry for my lack of cultural understanding. Uh, Mayazumi looks like you're telling her an offensive joke. She's waiting for you to finish. It is true, yeah. It's like you're mansplaining the Matrix to her. Oh my god. What the fuck am I doing now? Oh, this is all my team. I wonder do they all start dying? That'd be cool, wouldn't it? Okay, well, let's go to the next mission and see where it lands us. Blue wing efforts were not paying off. Oh fuck, we're not doing this. Violent <laughs> traffic crimes did not cease. There was a new type of drug called Cannon Wave. Cannon Wave! That was becoming rampant among the young. Oh god damn it, you It has become a fad among the youth to speed through the highways high on this drug. In order to stop this, we were out on the highway. Imagine a drug that specifically caused traffic crimes, and that's it. <laughs> hey man, you want to do some... Um, the shadow of drug dealing. Do you want to do some drugs? The only side effect is you just get into a, a horrible high-speed police chase. <laughs> oh my god. Here we go. We found a speeding vehicle on the Chuo Loop Highway. Okay. From the way the vehicle is speeding, we believe the driver is under the influence of some kind of drug. <laughs> yeah, the driver just keeps uh, reversing and, and accelerating into a wall. That's all they're doing. <laughs> it has to be cannon wave. <laughs> the vehicle is a sports car. 
It is true. It's like, wouldn't, wouldn't the driving just be... Yeah, they're fucking murdering everybody on the streets right now. They're just... <laughs> People are, are are flying through the air from this driver just rabbing onto footpaths. It appears to have a cranked up engine. Uh -oh. Police cars cannot keep up. Well, that sounds like a job for the world super police. Cars in reserve, head to the vehicle and apprehend. Will do. Heavy firepower has not been identified. We have been ordered not to use firepower. Again. Apprehended. That's a good thing anywhere. New cars don't have fucking firepower. Apprehended without damage. Over. Damn gotcha. it. We can't let him go. You relax over there, tough guy Tommy Saka. We should blow him up. <laughs> <laughs> I get the impression Tommy Saka isn't a very nice person. It's just like someone commits a crime, it's like, we should kill them! <laughs> Tommy Saka belongs in the American storyline. <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> exactly. We obey the law. Justice is served by the law. We should never think that we are above the law. <laughs> Stop saying law, Robert! <laughs> um, hello! Adam S. Messinger, how are you? Sorry, Chief. Don't forget that. Robert, you are right. We serve the law. Criminals must be judged by the law. Oh, dear. Let's go. Wish you luck. Blue Wing, let's go! Our female character didn't talk at all. Is she just not there? They don't let her into the room? Okay. Setup. Member. Oh, I can... I can only pick between the two. Uh, Masudori or... Look, they have a teamwork uh, thing. Let's play as Robert Willis. Okay. I can't. Can I? I don't, I, I, scram, scramble. Um, okay. <laughs> Here we go. I guess so, Sarah, yeah. <laughs> you pipe down, toots. The men are talking about the law. Someone speedy through the city? We ought to blow them up. <laughs> Tommy Sack is my kind of people. Just blow them up with the car. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Well, we're right on top. Oh, no, wait. Target speeding on the Chua Loop Expressway. Yep. Hurry before they get away! Okay, well... It didn't give me a timer this time around, so... Yeah, scramble is a weird word, isn't it? Like, I, I've never heard that word being used before to start the mission. Scramble! <laughs> Maybe, again, it's in, like... God damn it, civilian! Oh my god. <laughs> I'm just wrecking that poor car. Uh, baby Yarda, hello, I will take a drink as soon as I have hands free. Okay, now we're into a countdown. We're looking for some youths on drugs. Look at these fucking cars. So yeah, we're currently going at 220 miles per Not good. They're getting away. Oh my god. You're right, Jack. Maybe every other civilian is on drugs as well. Okay. Headquarters to Blue Wing. To all team members. National police roadblocks completed. Chase the target to them. That won't do. Right, Matsudaira? Get in front of it. Get them to stop. He's on drugs. He may not stop at the roadblocks. Isn't that the point of a roadblock, Robert? We'll have to stop it first. Get into formation and we'll surround the target. Oh my god. Roger. Well, here goes nothing. That man is clearly on drugs! Okay. What? Why? Why? 
I thought we were both getting in front of him. Are we doing it, bro? I don't know if we're winning. <laughs> I don't understand what's happening. <laughs> um, I, I'm starting to get the impression there's a button that I just I'm not pressing. I don't know. Come on, you goddamn youth! Okay. Hi, officer. We're running out of road. Oh my goodness. Border warning? He's making for the fucking border? Okay, I'm ahead of him. I'm ahead of him. What? This is justice. Apprehended perpetrator was from a rich family. He we were blew able it to up. obtain <laughs> valuable information from him. Cannon Wave was not produced in Japan. What happened? I but don't was understand. From abroad. He said he thought the Far East Dragon, a notorious crime, oh my God. syndicate, was controlling it as an intermediary. We had to stop the spread of drugs. This is like. Team America if it wasn't a satire. You know what I mean? It's like, another job well done, team! And just, everything is exploding behind them. Oh my god. Alright, we'll do one more uh, one more level and then we'll move on to another game, okay? <laughs> Fucking hell. I'm so confused, like, I mean, the game, it literally made a point to say, no, we're gonna bring them in unharmed. And then it fucking explodes the car. <laughs> Oh, fucking hell. And I'm pretty sure we did more damage on that road than the fucking driver did. We got the SPX Makira, and it's an attack car. Okay. That's Shushaka. Oh. Oh, we have... <laughs> yes, we have more team members. It's great. I'm Nakano. Hello. I'm a driving specialist. I can beat all of you in driving. Racing, just driving. I'm a driving specialist and I can beat all of you at the driving. <laughs> Nakano, don't you know your place? Who else have we got? Oh, that's it. Fucking hell. Ah, yes, the driving. Mmm, goddamn, I love the driving. Uh. <laughs> What's it now? Uh, baby Yoda, this is for you. Cheers. An international convention center held its new imported car exhibition. Uh -oh. All the new models of various brands were exhibited. The hall was filled with excitement. Oh, fuck. What happened? Oh. Colten. Colten. Col you hear that? Driving schools will be shaking their funds out with a real drive. Exactly. <laughs> Oh, do a do. That's classic. Classic banter. Auto theft occurred at the International Convention Center. Oh, fuck. Don't you know it? They stole a car from the International Convention Center. Perpetrators blew up the center and escaped with one of the cars on exhibit. They blew up the center just to rob a car? Fuck. The stolen model is the one WSP was considering for use. Oh, shit. It is high powered and even Highway Squad cannot compete. Perpetrators are heavily armed, and our guys on the chase are being attacked. God, right. We believe the perps are an auto theft group, working with an international smuggling group. I like, they blew up a building, they're terrorists, Kawasi! Like, are there people dead? They exploded a building. Oh yes, uh, the perps are an auto theft group. Please head there and chase the perps to the highway patrol roadblock. Okay, well, let's do this. We have permission to use Gatling guns this time. <laughs> Gatling guns. 
That's a 10-4. We got permission to use the Gatling guns. We are okay. told by our chiefs at the WSP headquarters to return the vehicles unharmed. What? We're engaging in Gatling gun warfare, but we have to return we the vehicles unharmed. Okay. Gatling gun is a warning. Wish you luck. Blue wing, let's go. I love it as well, it's like, they blew up the center and stole the car that we wanted to use! <laughs> Am I able to replace members? I want to, I want to pick someone else. I don't think I can. Oh, here we go. Okay, uh, who do we get? Well, let's see if she is the best at the driving. Meccano. Um... That's fine. Weapon. Okay, so I can just have machine gun one and Gatling gun. Fantastic. Oh, I have a support weapon. Ammunition, ECM, body armor. Uh, let's go with body armor. Okay. What is this? Look at all these mechanics that I, don't, I didn't know existed. Uh, formation. I don't fucking know. What <laughs> I'll just save the game just in case. When we come back to find out uh, what the density of our all our lead characters are. Uh, better bring them to the, the PAG for them violating the Geneva Code. Exactly. <laughs> we'll have you in front of the UN. So we get the car back and use it on the next mission. Apparently so really minty. Alright folks. Let's scramble. Are we ready to scramble? Why won't it let me sc Oh! I didn't pick a car for Nakano. That's why. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Imagine it just let you not give her a car. So, she's just like running along the freeway. <laughs> reserved, reserved, okay. Uh, Nakano, you can have the Kubaira. It's type almighty. She's the lord. Okay, let's scramble. Here we go. Let's get ready, ready, let's get ready, ready, let's get ready to scramble! HQ, this is the World Super Police. We got our Gatling guns. Target vehicle ahead. Don't lose it. Starting to feel like there's a a formula to how how to design these great levels. Hey boss, how do you like your eggs? Scrambled! Ba 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 da ba 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 world super police! This game is incredibly micromanagey options for a game that explains nothing. Look, it's all part of our density. We have to figure out our density. Okay. We need to find these terrorists, goddammit, civilian! Ooh. They really ought not to use this highway anymore, you know? Don't you know the World Super Police occupy this highway?! We are going 220 miles- Oh, how do I use my guns, actually? Oh, there we go! Oh, should I? <laughs> I just shot a civilian. Absolutely no repercussions. Oh wait. Oh no, we came upon the target. Or something. Headquarters to Blue Ring Team. The National Police has set up a roadblock, so you will be able to chase them onto Outer Loop Highway. Okay. And am I shooting them or not? I don't understand. But they're shooting? What they got? They got fucking mines? Fuck it. Oh my god, it has the frame rate of a Tamagotchi! I'm using my Gatling guns! Oh fuck! Okay, I thought it was about to explode again there. This is for stealing the car we wanted, you terrorist fucks! 
Am I going to get given out for blowing them up? I was sold to chase them. Another mission completed successfully, folks. Oh my god! <laughs> this fucking game makes no sense. <laughs> are involved in major crimes throughout Asia. We found out that they were a huge crime syndicate, Koten. Oh no. We knew that the hands of Koten were penetrating <laughs> Japan. <laughs> this and is the most unironic Koten Team America ever. Brought it's great. In cannon <laughs> into Japan in conjunction with Far East Dragon. Oh my god. Unless we apprehend the Koten group, all the crime would not be solved. It's like the words we are said in English, Koten's but the sentences track. aren't, you know? Right. We will have fresh members. I'm Yuji Takata. Now that I'm here, leave it all to me. Uh, so, Yuji Takada, who uh, is telling all the other World Super Police to get out because he's here, has a teamwork level of about 50%. So, you know, <laughs> fire Takada, he's ugly. Yeah, he's... God love him. He's like if um, Andrew Garfield just like had his face completely turned into a V. Isn't that... Bless him. I hate evil, and I will do my best. <laughs> That's the type of attitude we need in this world, Super Police by Yubi Seta. She doesn't even introduce herself. She just, like, kicks open the door. I hate evil, and I will do my best. Phenomenal. Oh, gosh. Okay, let's save this game, because we will come back to it someday, and we'll move on to uh, our next little... <laughs> that was... Terrific, I must say, with a capital T. That's girl, bo hashtag girl boss behavior. Yeah. <laughs> hashtag fuck the patriarchy. <laughs> okay. Uh, wow, we were. So that was a world super police. I'm quite thrilled by that. I thought that was really good. <laughs> uh, they should have made a date. Oh, could you imagine? It would be the fucking best game ever if they put some dating some elements into it. Um, yeah. Quite thrilled with that. That was a world super police. I really want to know where they go with it. Like, do your team members start dying? You know what I mean? Anyway, uh, okay, so here's what we're going to do. Uh, you're going to have to give me just 30 seconds to swap games because the next game is coming right up. Uh, but in the meantime, enjoy a certain cult theme! <laughs>
hope everyone enjoyed that little break that you got to go and pee pee while I set everything up for our new number two new game second game However, streamers, professional streamers do this. Uh, hope everyone is still having a lovely time. Hope you're enjoying the stream. I am. Well, I'm not sure I will after we uh, play what our next game is. Our next game. Oh, it's up last time yet. Yeah. This is, it's Phoenix Games time. So this is Phoenix Games. Uh, one of their actual games where they tried. God bless them. They do try sometimes to make a game. The game that we're playing is Chemist Tycoon. <laughs> and there is a woman with no soul. I could probably just zoom in on her there. You should not be working in the medical field, madam. There is something deeply wrong. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're, we're breaking bad. We're turning to Walter White today on the stream. Uh, we're playing Chemist Tycoon. Uh, this was a really fucking expensive game to buy, I remember. I think I paid something like 40 euro for this. Um... And it was, I, I always know when I paid money for a game because I had to import it from like Italy or France. So all the text at the back of the box is in foreignese, as they say, when something is in English. But yeah, so uh, we're going to be playing Chemist Tycoon. What this game is, I don't know. But what I will say is that it looks eerily similar to, um, does anyone remember that Dr. Doolittle game that I reviewed? I think in the worst games you never played, five. I'm pretty sure it's uh, it's something very similar to that. So look, there's only one, one way to find out, and that's to shoot ourselves in the head with it. So let's do it. Here we go. Spoiler: This is literally Doctor Doolittle. Oh no, HQ, is it really? <laughs> I wonder what the hell uh, people who fulfill your orders think. Dude, my postman, I don't know. He thinks uh, like I'm running some sort of scam here because every every few days a week there's suspicious packages that are like. PS2 box shaped. <laughs> Go to your letterbox. Uh, so yeah, that kind of scares me that this is literally just a reskin uh, of Dr. Doolittle. <laughs> chemists open 24 hours. Would you trust a chemist to open 24 hours? We don't have them here, sadly. Uh, oh, remember that one? The episode opened with uh, Rim and a Cow. Exactly, Poke Mario. Oh my god, some funky music. Fuck me. That's their opening titles? I've heard that music before. I've definitely played a game with that music. I wish I knew. Oh my god, if you leave it, they just start playing the credits. <laughs> god almighty. No Phoenix games. You don't want to do this. Uh, I also believe another PS2 game called Car Wash Tycoon also reads- Oh my god, I've seen Car Wash Tycoon as well. Rugby High School? What? Rugby High School? Why are they giving the credits for high schools? I don't understand. Does that mean to say that they got schools to develop the game? Is that what they're saying? What do they mean? I don't understand. Let's call that the end of the move on. Fucking hell. Okay, well. Oh my fucking criminy. Okay, I'm quite appalled that this is the qual- So, it doesn't give you any explanation as to what anything is, what you're doing. There's task one to seven and then mission. Suddenly you turn into fucking Ethan Hunt in Mission Impossible. It's like- you have to break into a, a chemist <laughs> and stop a bomb. Like, let's just start a task squad and see. Uh, it is important to research your customers before starting up a new business. That's fair. Understand that the way you collect data about your potential customers will alter the statistics you get back. Oh my god. What? For example, interview people near a school early in the morning. Right. Just hang out in front of a school. <laughs> you know, hey. Hey, young people, uh, yeah, no, I'm just, I'm, I'm actually, uh, I'm starting up a business soon, so just hanging outside in front of the school here. Not and creepy. I'm not creepy. I just need to interview you to, to collect your data, because I might want to use you as a customer. Um, 
For example, interview people near a school early in the morning and your statistics will be heavily biased towards the opinions of a local school child. Uh, <laughs> okay, interview 20 people. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, like, there's, there's a lot of ways to break down that sentence. I just wanted to run a chemist! I am so fucking confused. Like, what do you even do? Instructions. Oh, the instructions is just that fucking thing again. Time to sell drugs to children. Apparently so, Shaka. It is. It's so Sim City, Mr. Joshua, isn't it? Alright, how do I interview... These children, customers, uh, there is no information available on cust current customer demand. I mean, fucking hell, you're already opening a chemist, like, people get sick and they need medicine. That's why you open a chemist, surely. Like, what do you think, you're going to get different opinions on what people want in a fucking chemist? Maybe if you hang outside a crack den, they'll tell you what drugs they'd like differently from someone who has a cold. Uh, customers lost. Lice shampoo, oh my god. Uh, what the fuck do I do? Shop. I can't access them. I have 100 euro, which I'm sure you probably need more than 100 euro to set up a chemist, but, uh, okay. So what do I do? Where do I... Can I... In oh! So this is Judith Heinrich. She's 55. She's a taxi driver. Uh, and we ask her, what is the likelihood in percenters of purchasing the items on this list today? 8% uh, lice shampoo? Well, Judith, you need to shampoo your head to make sure you don't get lice, my dear. Um, toothpaste. She, only, she doesn't even brush her teeth, this Judith. I don't want her as a customer, actually. Move on, Judith. Go drive your taxi. Uh, what the hell? Who else do we pick? I want to go to a school. How about you, sir? This is Gino Bollettieri. Oh, it's a very multicultural place. Uh, age 19, he lives at Beverly Grove, and he's a shop worker. And uh, he would like cough medicine. Because you can buy really strong cough medicine. And get a little high. Let's... What's this? This, this is a school. This space for rent. I'm sure it is. Oh my god, all the sound just died. Fucking the same thing happens in Doolittle, doesn't it? Yeah, it just stops, and then there's a silence, and then it just repeats again. Oh my god. Okay. Let's see what this person is doing. Oh, fuck. It's okay, we'll just get her clone. Here. Julia Miguel, she's also 55, and an IT tech. Uh, she wants spot cream. You're 55, Julia! Okay, uh... Oh, here's a business lady. No, we miss her because they are the size of ants. They're so fucking hard to select. Uh, God almighty, all I want to do is hang her out outside a school. Here's Gemma Rawlings. She's 23 and she wants sun cream. Right. Yup, Tenny's banging the money. It's the same sound. Jesus Christ, it's craziness. Why are all these? I, I noticed a lack of children outside the school. Frances Coltsman, she's a doctor, and she would like makeup. Francis, your priorities are all wrong. When do we? I know. Um, I guess I can just quit. I can start selecting the tasks from the get-go, can't I? You don't even need to complete the fucking levels to move on. It's important to correctly calculate the amount of stock you'll need. The shop has been already stocked for you and will open the stores at nine. All you have to do is serve your customers, but they can get a bit tetchy if kept waiting. You have to serve 20 customers. I guess we're about to chemist, everybody. Oh my god. What am I doing? Oh. My. God. <laughs> Okay, so, I... <laughs> this is so fucking poor. This is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. <laughs> uh, 
So basically, guys, just stand in front of me over at the left of the till, and that's how you'll get served, okay? This is the world's busiest chemist. There you go. And no one's paid for anything. Uh, might you charge? Look at all these people. They want hair dye. Oh, my God. This is bonkers. Oh, I pissed someone off. How could they fucking release this game? How could they do it? This isn't the game. It's so bad. Daily news, uh, summer heat wave. Does that mean I won? What? What happened? I don't understand. What the fuck was that? Oh, it means people who want sun cream. Oh my fucking god, this game. Okay. Everyone wants sun cream and hair color. Here you go. I'm so sorry for putting on this game. This is crazy. Is Tenny's the chemist in heat now? <laughs> Okay, well, I'll tell you, what, I'll just, I'll, I'll just finish this mission because uh, I guess we have to just see what happens when you complete a single mission. So we'll do this one, then we'll just like skip through the rest and move on to another game. Okay, uh, here we go. You can get served as well. Okay. Uh, everybody wants fucking hair coloring. I also love when they get pissed off to just start like screaming obscenities at you. Uh, here you go, sir. Some sun. Uh, surely this is 20 customers by now, like fucking hell. I have no sun cream left, I'm sorry. I don't know what to give to you. Uh, I guess the customers want some sun cream aren't gonna be getting any sun cream. No one wants th these happy boxes. I don't know what these are. Depression pills? Oh my god. What happens if you give someone something they don't want? No, they won't take it. Great. I don't know what to do. I'm all out of stock. Why can't you go into the town? You can just leave? Fucking hell. Okay. Yes. Oh my god. This fucking game is so bad. Never thought I'd have the urge to wipe this out of my mind. I'm stunned at how bad this is. Now that you learned what happens when you run out of stock, you must learn how to create your own stock to avoid it happening to you. If you can, if you can, exclamation mark, we have not made it easy. Oh, great. The game is basically telling you that this game is, is, is hard. <laughs> um, I hope every high school student that worked in this game has fallen ill. Okay. The lab. Oh, my God. Okay, so... If you mix water with medicine and flavoring, you get... <laughs> they are out of their minds. We need to cook, Jesse. <laughs> yeah. Oh my fuck, okay. Uh, <laughs> what is this? Did you Twitch? This is a chemist tycoon, is it? What's it called again? I can't remember what it's called. Uh, task four is, have you thought about how you're going to finance your shop? No! <laughs> uh, keep a sharp eye on your bank balance. You're going to run the chemist for a week. Absolutely not going to do that. Oh, I could get a prince's trust, bank loan, or your own money. Uh, so that was task four. <laughs> could you imagine, like... Who the fuck was this game for? Who was going to walk into a GameStop and go, Chemist Tycoon, fucking great, yeah. And then go home and be like, pretty solid game. It's pretty fucking good. Enjoying this. Getting the price right for a product will make the difference between high and low profit margins. Having more customers you can cope with. Uh, make a profit of 100 euro. Okay, so I can set the price. Let's, um, 
Let's gouge the shit out of customers, right? Yes, we do happen to be the most expensive chemist in town, but you pay for the service. See this smile? You get this smile. Hi, welcome to Ten Inns' Chemist. You looking for hair coloring? No problem. That will be 5,000 euros! And that's how you make money. See? I should offer a course. <laughs> uh, okay, so, I mean, Jesus Christ. Don't even make it easy to fucking just raise your prices. Am I making money now? Headache? Yep. Yeah. Like, I, I so don't understand how this works. Is it, I expect it to be in the shop. Okay. Come on in, customers! It was made specifically for future Twitch streamers to tear to- I guess so, TK! Minty! Is this your doing? Uh, Wampin Ouija! I am doing awful! There's no customers! <laughs> Any minute now, uh, just waiting on some customers. Listen to that soundtrack as well, it's great, isn't it? Oh! Hello, madam! Oh, you want some overpriced hair products? No problem! <laughs> oh my god, it worked! Okay. And this is... is the hair product... hair color... oh, it's 150, right. So that woman over there really wants some hair products, so let me just raise the price as absolutely max as possible. Oh, she's getting angry, sorry. Okay. I do love that it doesn't fucking automatically pause when you're adjusting the price. Okay, now pay seven fifty for your hair product. This is how you do it. This is how you make money, ladies and gentlemen. This is capitalism. I'm so sorry. Uh, okay, there's people here who need cough medicine. Sorry, guys. Fucking inflation. Fucking cough medicine is- it's just- it's gotten so expensive these days, you know what it's like. Anyway, uh, yeah, it's eight dollars now. So sorry. Uh, but it's the best type of cough medicine. Where's she- Oh. Can't just put that in a different shelf, no. Uh, there you go. Now, there's your cough medicine. <laughs> and now you say hello to all that money. What the fuck? I'm not getting any credit on top of it. Um. Anyway, so th that that's that's my uh, business lesson. Is this that lean the kid's talking about? I I don't know. This is like theme park, but it's everything remotely good about the game. It's it's like it's so fucking bad. One of the problems we face when running a new business is letting people know you exist. <laughs> that's the problem I face every day in my life, chemist tycoon. There are several, there are uh, several types of advertising campaigns you can choose from. The tricky part is finding out which one will best suit your business, i.e. which one will get the best customer response. Each campaign type lasts for one day, use all four and compare the results. Yeah, why did they have to, to, to make it realistic? It's so fucking weird. Right, advertising. Oh my god, right. So I can have a TV campaign, a newspaper campaign, poster campaign or a radio campaign. That's it. There we go. I've spent all my money. Oh gosh. I, I like for just a second, for a really brief second, I thought it would let you watch the TV campaign. Like, would that have been too much fucking difficulty to just program into the game, Phoenix Games? Is this the only game you played so far? No, did you at Twitch? We also played World Super Police, and that was. Fucking fantastic. We really enjoyed that. I'm so annoyed we turned it off for this fucking muck. Uh, okay, La uh, task seven. There are always some products with a must-have factor. This means customers are willing to pay a higher price for them, i.e. sun cream in a heat wave. Try changing the prices of your products to see what effect... Oh my fucking god, go away. No. How boring. This is the game! We're after finishing seven levels in a fucking game. Right. Everybody, let's, let's do the mission. What the fuck is the mission going to be? Uh, yes, Digimon Twitch, World Super Police. Someone, everyone in the chat, please tell Digimon Twitch how fucking phenomenal World Super Police was. Right. Tassery, now that you're proficient in all aspects of running the business, 
They lied. It's time to put everything together and see how much profit you can make in a week. Oh my titty fucking Jesus. New chemist opens. New chemist opens for business day. We hope they can provide our town with blah blah blah. Right. Uh, so that was Chemist Tycoon. It's actually kind of stunning that this is the best bit about the game when the credits just load on the main menu and it suddenly starts crediting high schools. <laughs> uh, I paid like fucking 40 quid for this. I'm not even joking. I paid stupid money for this. And solely based off the box. Look at this. Look at this lady! Look at her! I thought at least she'd be in the fucking game. I definitely- I, I, I paid a lot of money for this game. I'm so fucking annoyed. <laughs> Could have spent the money on something good like pizza? Tell me about it. Fucking hell. Uh, also, quack quack, I missed your make tennis take a drink, Slauncher. This is a stiff whiskey as well, by the way. I feel sad for all the kids at rugby high school who had to work on a bloody Phoenix game. Can you imagine? I'm sure they were paid really well. They ought not to be. Maybe, like, they were also teaching kids about uh, capitalism when they made games for free. Mega Magic, Redeemed Make Tennis take a drink. I swear to God, I've already finished a, a strong whiskey. This is my second one. I'm going to be fucking pissed by the end of this. Slauncher. Fuck. Okay. Uh, right, well, that was Chemist Tycoon. I was disappointed. Uh, that's the thing, though. When you play these budget games, sometimes they fucking bomb. I hope you don't work tomorrow. I don't, Chaka, actually. I have a party tomorrow. <laughs> uh, I'm going to have a pina colada Bailey's. Ooh, minty! Now you're talking my language. Uh, you're gonna need more alcohol. I have lots of alcohol to have. Let's make this a, a, a piss stream. <laughs> uh, fuck. Right, okay. Okay, well, uh, let us go and we will change this in the PS2 and we'll come back with another brilliant mystery game! End me! <laughs> And I have action. Uh, thank you all so much. I hope you enjoyed that little break. I did. Because it means I'm not playing bad PS2 games just ever, just ever so slightly a few moments. Uh, God am I Danny Bell with the bits! Oh my goodness. Tenins, it should fuck right okay. It's a piss stream. Huh? <laughs> oh, it's Tenins. It should say fuck right okay. Oh, I get you. Now I understand. Thank you so much for the bits, Daddy. Cheers. Thank you so, 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 so much. Um, Okie dokie. I hope everyone is having a lovely time. I am getting a little bit tipsy. I'm not going to lie. Um, I didn't have a whole lot to eat today either, so this could get messy. <laughs> uh, 
it's like the stream ends. I'm like, hey guys, this is fucking the Hideo Kojima. <laughs> yeah. Let's get ready, ready. Let's get ready, ready. Uh, more importantly, you having a good time. Never do a do. Never. Uh, your accent makes everything a good time. Oh my days. Thank you, Titra. At least I have that going for me. When you talk like this, you don't need talent. Which is very handy. Because I ain't got them. <laughs> I consider getting a drink as well to you. I also got work tomorrow. Oh, Sarah. Live! I need to stop. This was full. This is my second one. We're nearly halfway through the stream. Next game is Mad... Uh, Mad ma Maestro? Maestro? Oh, fuck me. I don't know why I'm doing this. Um, I I have no fucking idea what this game is. I don't. I can't remember why I bought it. Um, uh, did you on Twitch? I love this game. Oh no, is that like a good love or a bad love? It could be good. I don't know. I just like it. It's it just looks cheap as dog shit. This is legit a great game. Oh fuck, we got a great game. Really? The freshest maestro. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, this is mad maestro. I don't know. Uh, did you on Twitch? Apparently, says very good. Oh, I searched this already. Does it have Lara Croft? I don't think so. Uh, so yeah, we're, I, I guess we'll just try it out. It's good. Everyone says it's good. I failed you. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I picked a good game. How can a game that looks like this be fucking good? It's called Bad Maestro. It's developed by Fresh Games. Uh, the back of the box reads, A totally original music entertainment game where timing, accuracy, and skill are all important. Do you play tact? A young conductor attempted to recruit the best musicians to put on a mega concert to save the concert hall. Um, so, look, apparently the chat says it's good. Let's try it out for ourselves. I I, I bet I will somehow find a way to be annoyed at it. <laughs> As I often tend to do. That is true. It might be, if it's a good game, it will be a welcome uh, breezer over. Fucking chemist tycoon. That, I think, you know what? In, in, in the amount of games I've played in my entire little endeavor in, in playing bad games, that might take the biscuit as the worst one. I don't think I've ever played a game lazier than Chemist Tycoon. I mean, even in terms of the, when the main menu loads up and it's just, you get these fucking tasks and it doesn't explain anything about what the game is. It's just, that was, that felt like a fucking Flash game that was developed for, by, by, by transition year students. It was just bad. Anyway, let's Cleanse the palate. Sorry to any epileptics out there. You, it, it certainly wasn't quality blundering my king, I promise you. Ba -da -ba -da. Desert Productions, and it looks like a willy. Ba -da -ba -da 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 -da. We're playing Mad Maestro. Um, I've never played Incredible Crisis, Danny Bell. Okay. Child mode! Let's go to the tutorial. See how this goes. You're right, it did sound like a PS3 startup. Welcome to the wonderful world of Mad Maestro. Maestro. From this moment on, you are a conductor. As a conductor, your job is to control the tempo of the pieces, control the volume, and control the parts. Conduct your orchestra with these three things in mind before I'm well. Oh no. Uh, these are the button buttons. First things to learn are the button buttons. Yeah, okay. You can press any of the button buttons. Oh my god! Oh, really gifted speaker. Danny Bell with the gifted sub! And welcome HQ into the cult! Knives in the chat, please. Danny Bell, thank you so much for the gifted sub! And HQ, one of us! One of us. <laughs> uh, Danny, thank you so much. Danny has gifted 37 gifted subs on this channel. You fucking amazing, amazing, amazing human. Thank you. Uh, the interval between each press of the button buttons controls the tempo, while volume is controlled by the strength in which you press the buttons. Oh my god. The part buttons are the directional buttons which are used to direct your conducting. Press a part button in the direction that you wish. So if you want to see how I can fuck up a game that is probably very good, uh, this is a really good example of that. Uh, press the part button in the direction you wish to conduct at the same time as pressing the button button to direct performance. Okay. Let's look at the game screen. Ooh. 
Uh, at the beginning, there are four circles on the screen. This is the tempo navigator to help you navigate around the screen when you're conducting. Each circle is a cue point, and the blue ball that moves between them is the cue ball. The tempo navigator is made from the number of beats in the piece. If there are four beats, there are four cue points. This is all very technical. So there are three cue points for a piece with three beats. Okay. As a conductor, you can measure the beat by pressing a baton button with good timing when the cue ball covers what it... Like, this is this is words, and uh, I'm not ingesting any of it. Something that I, the baton buttons are the... Yeah. Good timing is indicated with this mark. Oh my god. Just let me play when you told you to make a mistake. Alright. And when you conduct too slow, the world slow is, is displayed. So is it pop idol? Oh my fuck. On the left of the screen is the tension meter. This meter will go up when he gets in for a while. Yeah, okay. The opposite is also true. The meter will sink when he conduct badly and he will fail the entire performance if you allow it to fall too low. Let's let me fucking play! Okay. Fill the tension meter and you will please the angel. This is when angel mode starts. Good lord, a rhythm game. I know, Pokemario, really. Uh, everyone says it's good. You'll hear the sage. Okay, there's one thing that you should be cautious of. Fuck. Chemist Tycoon! <laughs> Angel mode means that you're performing well, however, if you start to perform really badly, you lose all the accumulated tension in one go. I hate when I lose tension. You have to time the button press as well, uh, so be careful. Okay. Let's move on. Please do. On the oh my god. Imagine handing this game to a child. The tempo navigator shows you how the music should be performed. Grasp the tempo. Oh my god. At least the music is decent. Okay, I'm just gonna end the tutorial and play. Fuck it. Life's too short. The fucking tutorial is like half an hour long. I only wanted to play the game for half an hour in total. Here we go. Let us begin! Mad Maestro! And if anyone ever wants to see what it would look like if DSP played this game, well, look no further. Here we go. I love stereo and mono. What a throwback. Uh, fuck it. Let's go. Let's go normal. I can handle normal. And thank God you can change eye time. That's that's a fantastic thing. Yes, I do. Let's do it. No! Oh my God! Is that the angel? Why is Mad Maestro in a church? <gasps> Darlin and Hanny? Oh my god, I did not expect this. Antonio. It's a green-haired young Hihachi Mishima. There's a line riding a motorcycle. Lionel Hart and Luder. Okay, this game is good. Sorry. Sorry, folks. I picked a good game. Did I accidentally um, take an ecstasy pill before I started this? I'm not sure. Shirtless Wolf, OMG, Teddy's is back on Twitch. I am! And I don't know why! I think I was taking some of those drugs that those uh, car people took in uh, World Super Police who we had to kill. My child, why do you have a spoon? Are you doing heroin? Imagine reacting that nonchalantly to a fucking fairy just arriving on the desk in the room. What is this game? <laughs> Someone tell me! Is this based off anything? It's fucking mad! To be fearless like a Lionel Hart. Um... 
It introduced characters for some reason. Is it kind of going to be a bit like Parappa Rappa or something? Is that what that's the vibe they're going for? Oh my god. Talk! <gasps> they talk! You're what? You're Tack the Conductor, right? I'm Symphony. Nice to meet you. Actually, I came You're here to really ask something of you, Tack. Oh my god! You know that the concert hall is going to be torn down, right? Shirtless Mofo! Well, Thank you for the uh, the, the sub. Welcome to the cult. Knives in the chat, please. Charlotte Mofo is back. <laughs> uh, thank you so much, Charlotte Mofo. Hall is demolished. Music could very well vanish. Oh no! They're going to demolish the concert hall, and it's up to us to play our shitty fucking music for it to come back. By having your orchestra perform there. Oh my God! We are one cult member away from fifty. Fifty surely counts as a large cult. Do you know what I mean? You don't think you can do it? You're afraid? You don't have enough people? Wait, she antagonizing let me? me borrow your musical powers and we'll see if we can You're find some really people. Gifted speaker. Oh this my god, Mr. Joshua! He made it 50! <laughs> Mr. Joshua, thank you so much with the gifted Wait, sub and welcome who's in unequivocally inadequate powers. to the cult! Uh, Mr. Joshua, thank you so, so, so much. Much appreciated. Holy moly. We are 50 strong. 50 of us. Although I do think uh, the, the, the stream elements bot got a, a sub once, so they're also in the cult. <laughs> we have a robot in the cult as well, but holy shit. Uh, thank you all so, so much. Ah, look at all the support. I feel all soft and gooey. Um, story, extra fun game settings are saved. Story, please. Darling and hun are to meet at the town park. Shirtless mofo with a thousand bits! Charlotte Mofo, you're crazy! <laughs> Thank you so much, holy shit! Charlotte Mofo, you're honestly a legend. Thank you so, 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 so much. Ah! <laughs> honestly, that's too kind. Thank you so much. Oh, God damn it! I wish I had the Pope window. Danny Bell with the gifted sub. Uh, welcome, Shaq is in the cult. <laughs> We're missing prime cutscenes. Uh, thank you guys so much. This is fucking crazy. Oh my god! Shirtless mofo, I tell you, stop it! Stop it! That's so many bits, you fucking mad bastard! 5,000 bits! <laughs> oh my god, that is gracious! Shirtless mofo, honestly, that is so crazy! Thank you so much, holy shit! You're insane! Insane! He's shirtless because he. <laughs> oh my god, we're missing a woman who has huge cleavage! Huh? Um, guys, that is unbelievable support. Thank you so much. Honestly, that means the world. Oh, uh, will the couple do a pas de deux? What have I missed? Oh, like just there's a load of alerts going on, and suddenly there's a couple about to do a pas de deux. What the fuck's a pas de deux? Or pasty deux, if we're to say it. Okay. Oh. It's an actual real uh, classical song. It's like we're going to be in a, a live orchestral sound of the worst games I've ever played episode. <laughs> uh, all right, let's let's fail this big. A uh, shirtless mofo. Honestly, that is absolutely um, unbelievable. Thank you so much. I hope someday you get a shirt, and I will send you one. Let's do it. I fucked it already! <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, I probably should have listened to the tutorial. Let's try again. <laughs> that was- uh, that's like... A record, surely. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. the buttons maybe <laughs> maybe try child mode I've never been insulted so much in my fucking life 
Um. <laughs> May I offer assistance? Yeah, please, did you on Twitch? Show, show, show some assistance in. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Okay. I knew we shouldn't have had all that whiskey. How can I be failing? I'm getting bravo and good. Press softly, green is medium, red is press hard. Oh fuck, really? This does convey the experience trying to wrap it wrap without a manual. <laughs> uh, I don't know either, Default 7. I'm not sure what the fuck I was doing wrong. Uh, I guess we'll try one more. So, blue, soft, green, medium, red, hard. Oh my goodness gracious. I think so. Wrap it wrap is uh, like a little more understanding of what... Uh, should I be pressing the, the D-pad as well? Ah, so these are medium, I guess. so badly <laughs> I don't understand okay are like so I can't really concentrate is that couple like trying to ride or something while I'm performing That was Mad Maestro. Music was never my my talents, really. I told you it was going to be like watching DSP played. Although I think I probably perform it better than DSP to be able. Anyone else remember? Uh, did, did anyone see that, that that tweet of DSP trying to play Tears of the Kingdom? It was fucking glorious. Um, what's everyone's feeling? I mean, I don't think I'm going to be able to do this. I just suck. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't listen to the tour. It was like me in school. I just didn't listen. Uh, oh my god. All that support went to my head. <laughs> I mean, he got past the start screen, so if he... <laughs> maybe so. Uh, rhythm games aren't for everyone. I like rhythm games. Just this one, maybe uh, I need some practice on. Next. Okay, TK is, is <laughs> being a mod. Uh, about the time we tried to play Make My Video and Lost. Amazing. I don't know. Did you... Like... <sighs> Oh, I kind of don't want to play easy mode because I know if I bomb out on easy mode, I'm just going to, like, not sleep tonight because I'll be so fucking annoyed. It's just like, how, like, children can play this game and fucking I can't. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, oh, God. Fuck it. Maybe we'll come back to it. All right. <laughs> uh, how long have we been playing? What? Oh, God, we haven't been streaming. I, I guess, actually, we're doing okay for time. We have three more games, so, you know... And this, like, everyone says this is a good game. Maybe I can't play it properly because it is a good game. I'm only used to bad games now. 
<laughs> it's so annoying. Uh, well, children are gross. There is that. And we, we were selling children drugs in the last game. So, you know, maybe this isn't my comeuppance. I feel like I missed something, hence that more drawn-out tutorial. Perhaps so. Um, I wasn't pressing anything on the D-pad. I'm not sure if I was meant to, so I don't know. And I've had two really strong whiskeys. I'm a little inebriated. I'll finish this one off. Uh, this one's for you, uh, shirtless mofo. Mm. Slauncher. Oh, my God. Trust me more to it, you don't know. Well, look, I guess maybe we'll never know. Uh, but... I did like the vibe, but maybe we'll come back to it. Make time say, oh, good God, make time take a drink. Well, I just did. I'm going to fill up this whiskey. I'm going to change games. So um, I'll make sure the next one is bad, right? I need to kind of make up for this. So <laughs> um, I promise you, stay with me. We're going to the cult theme and we'll come back with an even worse game than Chemist Tycoon or Walter White um, sequel. I don't know. Uh, I'll be back soon. <laughs> I'm back. Uh, thank you all for waiting. Oh gosh, one second. I left the fridge wide open. Uh, cheers! Happy stream, everybody. Having a good time. Almost too good a time. And um, if this next game is good, I swear to God, I'm quitting streaming forever because I no longer have a gauge anymore on what is, <laughs> on what, what makes it. Like I can't believe Mad, Mad, Mad Maestro, Mad Maestro. Uh, it out maestroed me. Old Mad Maestro. We might come back. It was quite weird, so we might come back to it down the line. But anyway, nonetheless. Um, also, by the way, just in case anyone didn't see, uh, we finished fucking Spy Fiction. It's done. We finished it. Uh, I haven't uploaded it yet to the Tenions Archive YouTube channel, but you probably watched it in the VODs here. But um, it was very... Uh, it was disappointing because they leave it open. Here's your ending, but if you play it again with the other character, the whole game, you unlock the real ending. And we were all like, no! So Sheila is done. We might come back to it maybe in a few months' time, but uh, it was all very disappointing. Uh, I was asleep, but I had to be up for a 5 and train, leave the stream um, as I was sleeping. Oh, Melee Mario. Well, am I relaxing you with the luscious tones? <laughs> uh, thank you for leaving me on. I do remember, I remember the first time on YouTube I found a playlist um, of all my reviews and the playlist was called Sleep. And I was like, you cheeky fucker. <laughs> Am I that boring? Um, Aussie Spy Fiction was okay, it functioned as a game. 
a piece of anything as good as that in my game career. I really, really liked Spy Fiction. I thought it was quite charming. It was bad, but it was good in all the right ways. It took risks that other games don't, but it was just clearly a huge rip-off of Metal Gear Solid 2. <laughs> like, I mean, it wasn't even funny. It was so fucking brazen. Um, being asleep is a huge compliment in my eyes. Well, there you go. I'm glad I can I, I can be of some sort of use to the world. Uh, I recommend Gadget. Gadget. You know, we have another Gadget PSU game that's been just sitting in the bank. So maybe. It's like Gadget and the Gadgetinis or some shit. Uh, anyway. Uh, so the next game. If this game is good, again, I'm leaving streaming. But I'm fairly certain it's going to be absolutely mediocre. At least I fucking hope so. Uh, the game we're playing is Crazy Chicken. Why is the chicken crazy? I don't know, but apparently we have to murder chickens. Um, this is a game that is actually on the Nintendo Switch. Apparently they have ported this to almost every single console. Um, but it is, it's just murdering chickens. It's just, it's kind of like just um, a, a simple shooter where you, uh, video, oh, it's, <laughs> on the back it says, Video gaming's most popular oh, chicken returns. Just a guy. Surely there is a more popular chicken in video games than this crazy chicken. Immediately comes to mind they're like those little cockatoos from Zelda. Um, Fitzy269, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream, my friend. Uh, we're playing crazy chicken, I think. Is this chicken shoot? Apparently so. Can oh, curse 666. I kind of feel like, I mean, just, you, you do just shoot chickens to death in this game, and it's quite a cute little chicken. It's like video game is most popular chicken returns, and the idea is to shoot them. Like literally, you're just murdering chickens. Um, the back of the box reads, The perfectly animated and funny motion sequences make the crazy chickens appear almost alive. <laughs> okay. Uh, the completely 3D generated gaming environment and lots of crazy items create a great setting when it's once again time to say, Hit the chickens. They try everything possible to seek shelter, whether it's holed up in an old oven, hiding in an outdoor toilet, or dressed up as a sunflower. Nothing, I repeat, nothing is left untried by the chicken to escape from the hunter. And we are the hunter, and we will fuck these chickens. Right? I'm not playing around anymore. It's not enough to shoot them. We're going to we're going to fucking do things to these chickens that this game doesn't want. Uh, so yeah, this game is about murdering chickens, and it's rated 3+. plus. You know? I guess, like, th this just sailed by. It's developed by System 3. <laughs> um, and th they have, like, a really cool... You know the way when you buy a DVD or a Blu-ray, they have a little special features? This game has that as well. Uh, the features are landscape and objects completely in 3D for the first time. Who knew that this was a fucking franchise game? Um, oh, my God. The next feature is perfect animations. <laughs> Says who? Uh, the next one is flying... And running chickens. <laughs> um, numerous gags and hidden extras. Two extra games with the main game. And finally, elaborate soundtrack. So, um, yeah. Knives in the chat. Let's get this elaborate soundtrack a listen. And uh, hope that we're in for a fucking wild ride as we murder these chickens to death. Here we go. Oops. This is the wrong screen. Oops. Wrong screen. Da -da -da. Crazy Chicken had an animation. No. Has anyone ever heard of Crazy Chicken? Is it a thing that I just don't know? Christ above. I can't believe like it just it looks like the fucking cheapest made game I've I've ever seen. Well, until I just fucking played Chemist Tycoon. I'm still reeling over that fucking thing. Here we go. Uh fen Phenomedia. Oh my god. Sprung. I'm sure they're still around. And there's our uh, titular crazy chicken. Shoot the chicken. Shoot the chicken. Also, this must be the elaborate soundtrack that the back of the box was uh, advertising. I had crazy chicken in K-Town a few months ago. My goodness. English. Okay. Uh, there's still no sound, by the way. Oh, I heard one. 2006 Phenomena Media Publishing GmbH. They didn't capitalize their titles there for some reason. Here we go. Listen to that elaborate soundtrack. Well, listen to me. Oh my god. I love 
to see the sunshine in the sky I hope that you come out to run and fly We're happy together, we're happy forever Let's have some fun Boom, baby, boom Shirtless Mofo with a thousand bits! Hashtag mad lad! Shirtless Mofo, thank you so much! Oh, saucy. We're happy together, we're happy forever. Let's have some fun. Boom, baby, boom. Boom, baby, boom. He's talking about shooting chickens. This is a song about shooting chickens. But I don't care. I've got my gun and know you're always there. Oh my god. I've got my gun, and you're always there. Yeah, boom, baby. This song is one school shooter away from saying they listen to this in their earphones for this game to be banned always. Do you know what I mean? Oh, he's gone. Okay, that just repeats. That's kind of scary. It's like this kind of jazzy well, little... Listen to me. Uh, Shirtless Mofo, thanks again for those bits. That's so generous. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, also, is... Oh, the game is called Crazy Chicken X. Okay, well, here we go. Let's have some fun, baby boom. Oh, fuck, Rin. What? There's a monkey fucking a sheep! There is a monkey! Fucking a sheep! Is that- that has to be what that is! It has a love heart! You're a really gifted speaker. Oh. Uh, Markabar! With the five months! Thank you so much! Um, okay, I just gotta murder- Murder chickens. Thank you, Markabar, and uh, Hedge, oh god, Hedge Toes, share 69 bits. Thank you so much, Hedge Toes. Oh, uh, you reloaded R2, okay. Where's this elaborate soundtrack? It's gone. It's just... Chickens being fucking... I'm shooting every one of them in the head. Running chicken. Oh gosh. This game is crazy! Uh, okay, we can go over here. There's the chicken hiding in the oven that the game like to talk about. There's a chicken... Oh my god. Like, is this the game? Is... There was a monkey fucking a sheep! I mean... And that's... And then it plays that song again. <laughs> God, what the fuck? <laughs> That's the game! <laughs> it can't be! No! No! <laughs> no! <laughs> I got on the leaderboard for that! What the fuck? This is so crazy! <laughs> uh, Markabar, welcome to the cult! Thank you so much! <laughs> Oh my god, sure. Let's save. Uh, <laughs> this game is mental. Okay, let's try again. We'll kill those chickens. I can't believe there is something fucking a sheep back there. It looked like a monkey. This feels like a demo showcase, I guess. But this sold it. This game was for sale. This was in store shelves. Like, Oh god. Uh, I need more whiskey. Well, listen to me. Oh my fuck. I love to see the sunshine in the sky. He likes looking at the sunshine. I hope that you come out to run and fly. He's talking to the chickens. We're happy together, we're happy forever. Let's have some fun. Boom, baby, boom. Let's have some fun. Boom, baby, boom. This is maniacal. I love to see you. 
I'd like to see you being on the run. I know you like me too, cause we have fun. I know you like me too! We're happy to get You're murdering them! Forever, let's have some fun. Boom, baby, boom. Oh my god. All the other kids with their <laughs> Some people say you're cute, but I don't care. God. I've got my gun and know you're always there. Listen to my story. Well, that's the way it is. Hashtag cancel crazy chick. I'm sorry, but that is exactly what there, there is a sheep in road. <gasps> I got minus points for shooting them. <laughs> okay, let's go to the other end of the map here. What? What did I do? What just happened? Let's shoot the snail. You get minus 50 for shooting anything but a chicken, I guess. <laughs> Die, you fuck! What the fuck is this? Oh, you can play blackjack! <laughs> okay! Oh my god, it's the fucking Deku tree! He's aged horribly. Uh, that's the end! I can't go any further down the map! Let's shoot the scarecrow. Okay, I can shoot the, the sign off him. What? This is it! Apparently this game was the most popular game in Germany, there's thousands <laughs> like, uh, This This is the game, everyone. I mean... I can't... can't do anything else. I'll shoot this lock, maybe? No? We're happy together, happy forever, murdering chickens on the farm. If I shoot the apple, I get minus 10, because of course. I have no fucking idea. It's I play blackjack. Okay, a king, an eight. That's eighteen. It doesn't have to be though. No, an ace can be one. You fucks. Uh, Markabar, thank you for the bits and for the resub. Markabar, did I already get you best shoes? I don't know. Sorry. Uh, welcome to the cult. I I can't remember. I've had too many whiskeys. Why do I suddenly just uh, like lose all my points? That's so strange. This game is fucking maniacal. They're ta They are not really? Is that what it says? Uh, Markovar said this match might be the crappiest game ever. Maybe. I don't know. We played Chemist Tycoon. I think this is actually better than Chemist Tycoon. Chemist Tycoon, I'm not even joking. It probably is the worst game I've ever played. Um, Where are these games, the second games that it, it was talking about on the back of the box. It says there's two extra games on top of... Oh, Jurassic Park reference. This game is crazy. And uh, for, you can also play this game too. Apparently it's on the Switch. I've seen it for like two euro quite a bit on the Nintendo Switch. It's so crazy. Like, we're happy together. 
shooting the chickens. This is the fucking game. This is all there is. This is a PS2 release. It's like I didn't download this. Like people bought this in stores. Like some child like probably came home with this. At least someone somewhere. Tennis is a port of a Wii game. There are many chicken shatters on the Wii. But it's on the PS2! It can't be a, a Wii game! Why? <laughs> okay. We'll upload that to the online leaderboards. Look, I bet Steffi and Mason and Gorg. Okay. Um... I don't know what to say. I don't know what to fucking say. It's on the PS5! No! Is it? Well, listen to me. I love to see the sunshine in the sky. I hope that you come out to run and fly We're happy together, we're happy forever Let's have some fun, boom, baby, boom Mark and Bart, thank you for the bits It might not be a Wii game, but it sure as hell is a poo game <laughs> I'd like to see you being on the run I know you like me too, cause we have fun this song is fucking nuts. We're happy together, we're happy forever. Let's have some fun. Boom, baby, boom. Some people say you're cute, but I don't care. I've got my gun and know you're always there. Listen to my story. So, I'm gonna read the features on this just so now that we've played the game. Um, perfect animations, flying and running chickens, numerous gags and hidden extras, two extra games within the main game, one of them being Blackjack, I assume, and elaborate soundtrack. Well, listen to me. There's a manual. There is a manual. That you come out to run and fly. We're happy together. Oh my god. Happy forever. Let's have some fun. Like it's baby boom. It actually fucking has like it, it it actually has like a lot of stuff in here. I like to see you be on the run. Oh my god. I know you like me too cause we have fun all right we're happy together we're happy for so let me read the the first page like honestly look i, I guess i got it all right enjoy the song it's the last thing we're gonna hear it. some people say you're cute but i don't care i've got my gun and know you're always there can't wait to sing this to the kiddies at Christmas. I have my gun and I know you're always there. <laughs> yeah, boom, baby. Boom, baby, boom. Fucking psychopathic game. This is one of the weirdest games I've ever played. Okay. One more time. One more time, baby. One more time and the fucking music ends. What? <laughs> What? I, I don't know what to do anymore. Uh, okay, so the manual reads, look at this. So this is the first page and all this text just introducing the game. It says, here we go hunting chickens again. 
The long-awaited release of Crazy Chicken X. The long-awaited release finally enables the game's fans to go chicken hunting again. That's two agains in a very quick succession. In developing this game, we here in the chicken roost went back to the basics again. You're not fucking joking there. So Crazy Chicken X again, stop saying again, <laughs> uh, contains some hidden highlights for the players to discover. But the main issue, the main issue, is the number of chickens you manage to hit. Much of what the fans have grown so fond of over the years has of course remained. The chickens fly, and then in brackets, and run across the landscape, and are knocked down with well-aimed salvos from the hunter's gun as often as possible in 90 seconds. Other than that, new puzzles, new characters, and much more- NEW CHARACTERS?! The only other characters was a monkey riding a fucking sheep, what the fuck?! Charles Bobo says from Wikipedia, the game's success spawned a great deal of merchandise, a comic book series, an animated TV series, several motion picture scripts, although no movie is ever made, shocker, and a BMG produced single Gimme More Hun by comedian Will Got. <gasps> wow. Was that it? Was that the song that we heard? Um. Numerous perfectly animated and funny motion sequences ma make the chicken appear almost alive now. But there's more, like... This time the crazy chicken is trying everything possible in order to seek shelter. Like, and there, it just, it keeps going. It, it has a big thing about controls. It has tips on how to shoot the flying chickens. It has tips how to shoot the running chickens. The hide and seek chickens. The mini games are crazy chicken snail trails and crazy chicken pontoon, which is blackjack. And then there's hints and tips. I'll read the, the, the final page is the hints and tips. I'll just read this and then we'll go. Um, without giving too much away, Crazy Chicken X has a wealth of hidden methods of scoring points and getting to the bonus areas. A steady hand, a keen eye, and experimentation are the keys to scoring big points. Look for objects appearing after you've shot something, shoot objects in different places, shoot background objects, shoot objects repeatedly. Basically, blasting is the only way to find out, so load that shotgun and go bag yourself some crazy chickens. Happy hunting. Feel sad now. <laughs> I don't know. There's something fucking strange about like kind of selling this game about like these cute chickens, and the object is to shoot them all in the head. It's just, it's just weird. I don't know what they're going for. They're talking about like what a game means. Cute songs. Play the song again, Tennings. Ah, fuck it. <laughs> Actually, let's just see if like there's a different song in the credits. Well, listen to me. No. I love to see the sunshine in the sky. I hope that you come out I wonder, actually, it might give the name of the singer. We're happy together, we're happy forever, let's have some fun. Boom, baby, boom. I like to see you. Oh no, it's meta. Oh no! <laughs> I know you like me too, cause we have fun. Oh no! We're happy together, we're happy forever. Oh my god, what a hint! What the fuck? Some people say you're cute, but I don't care. I guess you unlock the second level by scoring more than 1400 points. That's, uh. Listen to my story. Oh, fuck me. That's the way it is. Come on, love. Yeah, boom, baby. Okay, that's crazy chicken. <laughs> I can't believe what we just watched and heard and played. Oh my god. Um, I need to review that. That's crazy. <laughs> How is that a franchise? It's like one fucking scream! I don't understand, it's so stupid! We did not find- and nor will we, McGeeart! Thank you for that song. We, by the way, have to be the first human beings who have ever watched that credit sequence, so... Congratulations, everybody!
We're world first in here on this stream. There is no fucking way anybody else has clicked on that credits option. So, um, you got to experience that meta humor. Finally! Whoever wrote those credits, congratulations. Your, your comedy genius was watched by everybody. <laughs> USA! USA! <laughs> world premiere! I'm Jeff Keeley! Okay, coming up, folks, uh, we've got this uh, cool game about hunting chickens. Check it out. Shirtless Mofo with a thousand bits! You are you are shirtless because you're crazy! Uh, here's to another masterpiece. Mother of God. Okay, well, how many games? I think I have two games left. Uh, the next one is, I, I hope... Actually, do you know what? I won't reveal anything, but the next one could be fucking brilliant or it could bomb. But it's, um... Spoilers, a little... Uh, similar to Chegger's party quiz, if anyone, uh, old cult members remember that one. So, look, I'm gonna change the disc and all will be revealed momentarily! Back in a sec. <sighs> Hold your breath. name of the next game and I've just started laughing uh, to anyone outside of UK or Ireland like this mightn't mean anything to you because it's I don't know it's quite niche no is it really I don't know uh, the, <laughs> I don't have to, the cover is stored away somewhere uh, the next game we're playing is um, Noel Edmonds Telly Addicts <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Mark about the bits. Are you working through that massive stack of games you bought last year? Uh, honestly, yes. The answer is yes. Um, so Noel Edmonds <laughs> is first of all, you might know him. Uh, apparently, he was Mr. Blobby, right? So he's the person inside the Mr. Blobby suit. Other than that, he's the host of Deal or No Deal over in England, and um, he's just this very kind of uptight guy. I don't know how else to describe him. He's kind of like. Philip Schofield without any of the, the pedophilia. Um, <laughs> and it's just, he's just a, an English TV personality, but no one really knows why. That's who Noel Edmonds is. Um, Noel Edmonds' house party was a classic. I'm not sure if you're referring to a show or you're actually over as Gaff Sarah, but <laughs> um, I met Noel once. He's fucking tiny, like about five. <laughs> he might be in the chat. I don't know, but yet we're playing um, Noel Edmonds' Telly Addicts. Now, what is this game? I don't know. I assume it's similar to uh, Chegger's party quiz. Um... <laughs> but I'm hoping, I'm really hoping there are little clips of TV shows in here that might make it fun for a few minutes and that I don't get DMZ8 strike out the asshole. So, um, but I mean, who could not buy this? <laughs> Look at Noel Edmonds with his arms crossed. He's trying to almost be cool or a host wearing this fucking shirt. Like, he found at the charity shop. <laughs> just 
<laughs> I don't know what the fuck. Uh, multiplayer family edition. Yeah, we'll get it. Honey, gather around the kids. We're playing Noel Edmonds telly at it. <laughs> oh my fucking god. What is life? The PS2 is honestly the best fucking console ever made. I mean, how, like, you had Keith Cheguin and Noel Edmonds having their own fucking quiz games. It's so nuts. I really need to buy Carol Vorderman's uh, Sudoku, or whatever the fuck you call it, just to finish off the trilogy, you know what I mean? This game is also on the Wii and the DS, oh my goodness. Uh, this show ended in the 80s? No, this was a show? Telly Addict? Oh my god, Minty, why would you ever play this on- <laughs> That's such a good question! <laughs> Who would play this on the DS? <laughs> Is it the family edition on the DS or is it just the the, the loner edition? Noel Edmonds Telly Addict's loner edition. <laughs> the Telly Addict's I have no friends edition, so I want to be friends with Noel Edmonds. <laughs> Speak to me, Noel. I'm lonely. <laughs> uh, so yeah, Atomic Planet did Carol. Oh, really, Minty? You developed uh, Carol of Order with Sudoku. <laughs> Uh, for anyone new to the chat, Reedy Minty was a video game developer. He he made he was the, the creative director over this game called World War II Soldier, a game where on the second mission the game freezes and you can't go any further. So uh, blame him. That's him, Reedy Minty. I love that Reedy Minty you're here. It's so cool. The world is great. Um, unless you're in a submarine going to Titanic. Anyway, here we go. <laughs> oh, speak to me, no. <laughs> Do it, Shaka. Do it. It's fucking Ubisoft. Oh, do you remember when Ubisoft were good? Remember when they made good Splinter Cell games? Unique tell- Well, they're not lying there. Yet another great game. It must be- <laughs> <laughs> and then the telly, like, I mean, come on, without a hint of irony. Alan Partridge! Oh my god! Jim will fix it! A notorious pedophile just appeared in a PS2 game! I am so excited! <laughs> Pingu is there! Nop, nop! Here we go! Telly addicts! How many players? It's the family edition that you can only have two players. <laughs> okay. Hello and <gasps> welcome to Telly Addicts, the nation's favourite television quiz. Back oh for no! Look at some more classic. Look television at this little moments. telly. <laughs> Coming up, we've got six exciting rounds packed with classic TV trivia to test your knowledge. So let's get started with the first round. Screen test. Six screens to choose from. A TV He's a real-life Alan Partridge, isn't he? Behind each, you can choose three in this round. Good luck. Oh God. Fuck my mother, no Edmonds. I know. <laughs> Choose a screen, okay. Um, wow, it's really futuristic. Look at these tellies. I'll go screen number one, no. You have chosen screen number one. Fuck off. Take a look at this picture. <laughs> okay. Uh, what's it called? Curb your enthusiasm. Yeah. <laughs> Is that the question? Round one. What is the name of Larry David's manager? Oh, I don't know. Um, anyone? I've only seen the first series of Curb. Never seen it. You can go as long as you want. Who is it? Jeff? All right. Uh, let's Super Toy Legacy with Jeff. What's up? <laughs> Choose a picture. I really hope they got him to do that six different times. Okay, no, we need six different versions of choose a picture, please. <laughs> two. You have chosen screen number two. Oh Take my a look God, at this picture. Why do they have to have him do that? Keep it up appearances. What a show. The bouquet residence lady of the house. Um, what is Hyacinth's husband called? Richard. I even know that. <laughs> Choose a picture. <laughs> oh, it's so bad. I love this so you much. You have chosen screen number three. <laughs> Take a look at this picture. 
Oh, Sex and City. Actually, the new series of uh, Just Like That started tonight. And it's like <laughs> one of the worst shows ever. It's so good. Uh, what city? Oh, God, I don't know. Let's see what happens if you... It does no, like, admonish you if you get it wrong. I think it was set in Los Angeles. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Curse me, no. Good start. That's two points from our screen test round. Let's see that on the board. Oh my god, it's so interactive. <laughs> and they, they just popped it up. Next two. up is the classic clips round. Oh. First, we'll show you a video from a well known TV program, followed by some questions on that show. Oh, Are you ready? Yeah. Here comes the clip. <laughs> yep, that's a two. <laughs> Hello, Britta's here. If anyone's free at the moment, could they please come to reception and give me a hand? Hello? Hello? Can anyone hear me? <laughs> is anyone there? <laughs> Mr. Britta's, is that you? If anyone is there, could they please come to the intercom? Mr. Britta's, it's Colin. <laughs> There's no fucking way that they have the DMCA on this for Britta's Empire, is there? Like, they can't. In which fictional town was it? Why did we have to watch that clip? I don't- I've never seen the British Empire. Chilbury. God fuck! Okay. What? What was the first name of Rimmer? As played by Chris Barry in Red Dwarf. So we're immediately outside British Empire. Uh... Arnold. Oh! <laughs> I didn't. I. Look. Sure. Just the one point from our clips round. Could have been better. You Let's cheeky fuck. There was only story. two questions, Noel Edmonds. That's like a 50% success rate. Three. Right. Next up is the spotlight round. Five questions coming up, each with a time limit. If you fail to answer oh in God. time, you won't score. I'm getting so a Tough round, this one, so you need to be quick. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. I'm not ready, no. Let's be quick. Okay. <clears throat> uh, appearing regularly on this morning, which area is Nadine Baggett an expert? Hurry oh, up! <laughs> no, just shout with her antiques! Who plays the obsessive compulsive detective in the US TV show Monk? Uh, Tony Shalhoub. Oh! Who played Jack Reagan in the Sweeney? I don't know. Let's get Noel to show hurry up again. Hurry up! <laughs> this is mental, this fucking game. In which English Seaside Resort is Faulty Tower set? Oh, God, I don't know that. I love Hurry that up. show. Uh... Okay. Hurry up! Which of the following starred in Some Mothers Do Have Them? Hurry up! I love that chat didn't answer that one. <laughs> Apart from TK. Well done. Just a couple you didn't get there. That's <laughs> three for the round. Let's add that to your score. I love Noel Edmonds. God love him. He recorded this in about 20 minutes and he was like, you can so tell he does not want to be there. Next up is the reveal round. We're going to slowly reveal a clue to a tricky question. There are a maximum five points for this round. The quicker you answer, the more points you'll score. Look carefully. Here is your question. God. You know that Noel Edmonds was like telling people that, yeah, I have my own PS2 game. And you know, there's games like, you know, Metal Gear Solid and Call of Duty. And now there's Noel Edmonds Tele Addicts. I'm kind of a big deal. Uh, who is this TV comedian? Four points if you answer now. This is now worth three points. <laughs> Two points left. Oh my God. Just the one point for this. I guess he used to be a comedian. Took your time? 
she got it in the end. That's one point for the round. The laugh! Here's your total. You know, we're just going to play it conversationally. <laughs> um, Super Toy Tiger, we completed it. Next it up is the Guess the Year round. That's that. We're going to show you a picture from a classic TV show, followed by some questions. Please First, do. all you have to do is identify the year. We'll help you out by... Next up, we're going to look at my ass. The numbers on screen <laughs> to give us the year. On a grade of 1 to 10, how good looking is Noel Edmonds? <laughs> Hurry up. Uh, guess the year. Oh, fuck me. What? What is that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, that to me, Noel, looks... <gasps> oh, my God. In what year did the show The Word End? 94, 19, oh for God's sake chat, you're just, it does look like Elon Musk, you're right, um, the words, 94, TK says 94, let's go TK. God fucking damn it TK, this is typical you, bullshit, and Minty. <laughs> now Noel will think we're stupid, in Tales of Four, Terry Christian appeared in which of these shows, Hell's Kitchen, The Farm, oh God. Who could forget Terry Christian's appearance on uh, I'm a Celebrity, get me out of here. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> oh, admonish me, Noel, daddy. Let's do it. No. This is the fucking quiz, like, on, on Tony Christian's. They're going to give us three questions. Which of the following was ever a presenter on The Word? Sarah Cox, Mark Lamar, Amanda de Cadenet. Sarah Cox? Okay, Shaka. <laughs> well done, Shaka. I don't, did you on Twitch? I'm kind of the same. I've never heard of it. A nope. bit unsure there. Just the one point for Guess the Year. Let's add that to your total. <laughs> I fucking love Noel Edmonds. Oh, God. Eight. Right. We're now entering our final round. So okay. it's your last chance to boost your score to try and become a real Teleaddicts champion. Three questions coming up, each chosen from one of our five TV categories. <laughs> Use the spinner to make your selection. Oh, Good luck. fuck. Thank you. How much really was Noel Edmonds paid for this? I'm going to guess, like, maybe a thousand pounds. <laughs> you know what I mean? Press X to spin. Okay, let's rotate the board. Oh, shit. It could land on fucking anything, chat. We're in... Reality TV, unless it goes... Nope. You have landed on reality TV. Thank you. Here is your question. Uh, okay. Which reality TV show did Jeff Brazer win in 2004? I guess The Farm. Didn't that already come up? <laughs> okay. That's fantastic, JP Roddy. <laughs> they just put 22 boxes in front of it. Uh, oh, God, we have to spin again? Fuck me. Who care? Why is this drawn out so fucking long? Cartoons. Right, what British cartoons were there? You have landed on cartoons. Here's your question. God, Noel was excited about that one, wasn't he? <laughs> I love cartoons. Which of Scooby-Doo characters wears glasses? Oh my God, they're really fucking shooting low here. I believe that's Fred. No, it's Valgo. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're back on the wheel again. <clears throat> doodle 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 doodle. You have to appreciate like the complete lack of music or sound effects in this kind of shit. Like the only effort to went to was getting Noel Edmonds on a couch. <laughs> you have landed on comedy. You know what I mean? Here is your question. <laughs> it's like the rest of the game is completely dead apart from Noel Edmonds sitting on a couch in front of a green screen. <laughs> it could be in his basement. Which TV comedian has the real name Robert Davis? Oh fuck, who even are these people? Actually, I know who Vic Reeves is. He kind of looks like a, a creepy, creepy person. Uh, anyone know? Anyone in the chat? C, says Minty. Jasper Carrot. Oh, I know. Why do I know Jasper Carrot? Well done. A good time to hit form. That's full marks for our last round. Let's add those three points. And Again, this is a quiz points. where there's only one person playing. They couldn't have even bothered to make any sort of stakes, you know what I mean? 11! I got. 
Oh, well, that's who he is, yeah. a good performance, yeah. but still some room for improvement the before you reach fucker. the level of a true telly addict. Why not play again and see if you do any better? Thanks for playing telly addicts, and it's goodbye from me, and I'll see you next time. Oh, he's so Alan Par Partridge, isn't he? That is so fucking funny. Why don't you play again, and we'll see you next time on Telly Addicts. Um, yeah. In this game, Shaka, nobody wins. <laughs> uh, so that was Noel Edmonds' Telly Addicts. That was uh, Telly Addicts. <laughs> How does this exist? It, like, <laughs> surely that was like, a, did, did we get the, the world record on the speed run? We had to. <laughs> Why can't I watch the credits on this game? Shovelware, indeed, McGee Art. Oh my God. I can't believe Noel Edmonds fucking, even, he, wo Noel Edmonds woke up that morning and he put on his, his pants, his little slacks. He, he, he tied the button and he put on his belt he grabs this musty shirt from his dusty wardrobe. He took it out because he thinks it's his best shirt. And he went down and his wife was in the kitchen. His wife said, Noel, honey, what are you doing today? And Noel said, oh, I am um, <clears throat> have a job today, honey. And she goes, oh, Noel, oh, my God, that's amazing. What's, you got a job. You have another job. He's like, yeah. And she's like, what is it? He says, it's telly addicts. And she says, they're bringing it back? They're bringing back telly addicts, Noel? And he says, well, uh, yeah, kind of. <laughs> kind of. Um, it, it, it's actually a, a game. It's a PS2 game. Um, it's a PS2 game that they're making. So they, they film me. And so basically what it means is people buy the game and I end up in the living room of everybody's, everybody's living room who buys the game and it brings families together. And um, I bring, you know, it's cool. So if, if you buy the game, I'm basically, it's getting my name back out there. And then his wife kind of says, oh, so it's not, it's not on television, is it? And he said, no. And she goes, is it, is it being sold? Like, is it, is it, is it a popular, are the game developers famous? And he said, no. And so he went and he filmed on the little couch. It took 20 minutes to get all his lines because he's a professional. He's good. And then he, he went home and his wife wasn't there. She was, um, I don't know, she went out with her friends to her bingo night and Noel went up to his room and. He took off his shirt, and he took off his pants, and he put them back in his wardrobe. And he noticed just in the back of the wardrobe, untouched, there's this long bag. And um, he reaches in, and he grabs it, and, oh, it's, it's his dad's old hunting rifle. He said, huh, God, I remember dad would always bring me out, and we'd hunt, we'd hunt chickens with his rifle. Dad's gone now. Shot himself with, with with this rifle. So Noel takes a moment and he just sits on the end of his bed and he he just he says he pulls out the, he he takes the gun out of the the bag for old time's sake and he he just looks at it and goes, "Geez, how can something that brought father and son together also be responsible for tearing father and son apart?" And Noel puts the gun against his chin. Just kind of leans his chin on top of the, the end of the gun and a tear strolls down his cheek and with one final goodbye, <clears throat> he, he presses down on the trigger and in his final thoughts, he thinks of his, his, his own son who doesn't speak to him anymore. But when he presses down the trigger, he realises that there's no bullet in the gun and that this attempt at suicide is just another failure in the long career of Noel Edmonds. And so he puts the gun back in the bag and went back in the wardrobe. Anyway, that was uh, Noel Edmonds' Telly Addicts, everybody. I hope you all enjoyed that. Hope you're all having fun on the stream. Bada bam bam. Ba da bam bam bam. Who doesn't like whiskey? Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> I 
Do y'all feel bad about laughing at Noel Edmonds now? It's quite a dark life. Teddy's while well, YouTube when I die. <laughs> I was a telly addict stuff. I don't think any of us are telly addicts. And I'm sure like many of the, the PS2 audience weren't telly addicts either. I'm sure this game fucking bombed. What game do you think sold more? Telly addicts or, or Keith Chegwin's uh, party quiz? We need to do a double bill of that, don't we? Or even like somehow stream them both at the same time. <laughs> Just have the both characters talk to each other. Anyway. Uh, we have one more game. We have one more game. And it's a blast game. You're probably right, Zotan, actually. Um, so yeah, our final game tonight is won by our old beloved Blast Entertainment. What is it? Find out right after these words. <laughs> I'm still here. I just got a cease and desist off of Noel Edwards' uh, crack legal team. And I say crack because they're uh, all drug addicts. And they don't actually practice law. <laughs> um, <laughs> super tight, we then hear a gunshot go off. Okay, are we ready for the final game? I don't know if you are. I don't know if I am, really. I am quite tipsy. I've had quite a lot of whiskey. Strong whiskeys. Hasn't this stream been really fun? I'm actually quite enjoying this quite a bit. It's so much nicer than stupid fucking boss battles in spy fiction. <laughs> um, okay, everyone, blast bombs in the chat. Let's fucking do this. Ba ba bam, bam bam, ba da ba bam bam. Very fun, says McGee Art. Thank you. Noel Edmonds should have a Twitch channel. I think he'd do really well in that. I'd subscribe to him. I remember Dom Jolly. If anyone watch, ever watched Trigger Happy TV, um, Dom Jolly had... He started a Twitch channel. And um, very much as a response, because he obviously saw how good Limmy was doing on, on Twitch. And he thought he could do the same. But Dom Jolly doesn't play video games. And he's also quite a bit of an asshole. So <laughs> that quickly ended because uh, he just got snarky with his viewers. Um, anyway, okay. The next game. The next game. The last game of tonight's stream is... <gasps> I've been in the danger zone. Top Gun! You can be my wingman nondescript pilot in your jet engine. Blast Games' is Top Gun. We're going back to the past. We're going to uh, be reigniting some angry video game nerd uh, magic here. Top Gun is one of the most famously bad LGN games. And guess who fucking got the license for it on the PS2? Only Blast Entertainment. Um... So there's two PS2 Top Gun games. I think the other one is actually quite decent. This one, I don't know, but it's because it's Blast, I have a feeling I know how it's going to go. But yeah, so we're going to finish off tonight's stream playing Top Gun. Top, topity, top, top, Top Gun. Maybe that's Noel Edmonds there, sitting in the jet. Who knows? You never know how talented he is. Uh, key bars! You're oh my god! Thank you, thank you so much for the seven months! Welcome back, Knife Master! We are back! The stream is fucking great! <laughs> I'm having so much fun tonight, this is cool. Apart from when we played that fucking Chemist Tycoon and Mad Maestro, kinda sucked at that. Uh, Keymars, it's so fucking cool to see you again, I hope you're well! Uh, oh my goodness! 
Clifton, twenty twenty two. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. We're having fun. Ba, 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 ba. Oh my God. You're a really gifted speaker. Digimon Twitch with a gifted sub. Denisium. Welcome to the cult, please, everybody. Knives in the cult for Digimon Twitch and Keymars. And uh, welcome, Denisium. Oh my goodness gracious. Thank you, thank you so much, Digimon Twitch. That is very, very generous. Um, honestly, fuck, I don't know what to do. I've never, like, you're all so fucking cool with your support. <laughs> honestly, it's so, so beautiful. Thank you. I really, really appreciate all the support tonight. This has been amazing. Um, Twitch is like a really wholesome place, apart from the people who run it, isn't it? <laughs> I love our little community here. It's just like a cool little group of people who hate on the PS2. It's nice. Oh my god! Blundering my king with the 300 bits! Stop it! Stop it! Thank you so fucking much! Holy shit! Um, cheers. Uh, Blundering king, this is for you. I'll finish off this whiskey. No, you do I do. <laughs> um, oh my god. Thank you all so much. I love this little community. It's fantastic. Um, okay, with all that said, let's get fucking miserable and play some Top Gun. <laughs> um, oh my god. Honestly, guys, that's that's so nice. Uh, Keymars, thank you. Blunder my King, thank you so much. Did you on Twitch? Thank you. Deezy and welcome to the cult. And Clifton, thank you for the follow. Anyone else, who, by the way, just watching, hit the fucking follow button. Why not? Look how much fun we're having. You know what I mean? No, you're breathtaking, Shaka. And with that. Oh fuck! What just happened? Oh no! <laughs> My PS2 was like, you know what? Fuck you, Dennis! Uh fuck, okay. <laughs> the PSU just fucking shut down that good time, didn't it? <laughs> Okay, I think we're okay. It is blast. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Blast bombs in the chat. Let's fucking do this. Tom Cruise! We love you, sir. Even though you're a crazy fucking cult leader. Who was part of an organization responsible for many people's deaths and it being covered up. But look, that's a lot of fucking languages. I, never, I don't think I've ever seen that many languages. Tom Cruise is back again to save the PS2! He saved cinemas, and now we're going to save the PS2. I'm sure he's in this game. You're also a crazy fu- <laughs> That's true, Shaka. Uh, when did you get a PS2 that actually works? This is my third PS2, you know that. I've gone through fucking PS2s like it's nobody's business. Here we go. Warning, Top Gun uses an autosave feature. Okay. I love that's a warning. Go ahead. You can be my wingman any day, Top Gun PS2. Ba -ba -da -bam -bam. I have to go to bed now. Have a great time with the rest of the street. Time to see you soon. Also, Quack Quack, thank you so much for being here. I'll see you again next time, okay? Paramount. Remember when that meant something? Oi, oi, oi. Will they have bothered to make a cutscene? Minty! It's your company! By the way, really Minty, who was in the chat, worked for Atomic Planet. Top Gun, Top Gun, yeah! <laughs> McGee Art, that is a bannable comment. I love MIDI music. Wasted Limbs with the raid with the eighth viewers. Thank you very much, Wasted Limbs, and welcome viewers. We're about to play trash. So it's our fate just to die. Dumb Roar, thank you for the follow. All right, let's play. Um, must have lasted my time. They really did. We, I, I honestly, I need to interview you. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for the raid, Wasted Limbs. I hope you had a great stream. Thank you. Ba -ba -bam. Empty, like our souls. <laughs> Remember this classic song? Like, 
It's so funny, like, when Blast Games do this. For some reason, like, remember the Beverly Hills Cop intro as well? It was just this really hacky version of the Beverly Hills Cop theme. With Top Gun, it's so easy just to replicate that, but yet they still just end up with something that sounds like a, a really cheap clone. Here we go. Top Gun 1. Top Gun Zero with the prequel. You've seen the Ice Man, now see the Shit Man. My favorite oh, thing about this is Blast. With a little help from me and a little help from Blast, oh, together fuck. we'll show you how to play Top Gun. <gasps> What's he doing? Why is he doing an the American accent? Is controlled using the analog sticks. <gasps> The left analog stick, this one, allows you, the player, to bank and pitch the plane. Like oh my this. god. Oh my god. The right analog stick controls the thrust and slowing down of the plane. Oh. By moving the right fuck. analog stick forward, you accelerate. And by moving it backwards, you slow down. <laughs> Why is the that The button turns on your boosters. It has to be held down to keep the boosters on. Your boosters may very well come in useful, especially when maneuvering. <laughs> the triangle button is used to switch to selected targets like this. <laughs> the circle button is used to cycle through secondary weapons, which are missiles and bombs. This fucking guy, like, knew he was in the same franchise as, as Tom Cruise. Secondary weapons. Listen to this fucking accent. This is the R1 nuts. one button will fire your machine guns. This is so embarrassing, Blast. Why would the you do L2 this? The L2 button will perform an evasive bank to the left, like this. <laughs> it can also be used in combination with your left analog stick <laughs> to perform Minty, is this you? like this. <laughs> oh my god. This is more the to R2 find. The L2 button will perform an evasive bank to the right. It can also they be nearly used in hit the fucking clip. With your left analog stick to perform maneuvers like oh, this. Oh God Almighty! Pressing the L2 button, quickly followed by the R2 button, will perform a full roll maneuver. Wow! Pressing the I'll L2 try spinning. button That's a good and R2 trick. button together will perform a 180 degree maneuver. When you press the L3 <laughs> button, that's your now. left analog stick. This will show you the bomb target view. The Pressing bomb target the button after the missile has been fired will show you the missile's view so you can see where it's going. Oh my god. That's it. Thank you, fake American Blast. I'm so sorry to any American who's in the chat. That is one of the most racist things any video game developer has ever done. Fuck me. I thought they were bad with the, the who was it? Did they they had like Oh, was it Paddington Bear? They had that intern do the voiceover for tutorial. Why did they do that? That's so fucking crazy. <laughs> so sorry about that. And um, by the way, I can guarantee you now that will be the only, only, only time you ever see any sort of effort in this game in regards to a cutscene or voiceover or anything. Uh, Minty, at least have some guy from the Atomic Planet office for once. How do you know? It's you, isn't it? Uh, okay, weapon select. Sure. What the fu- Also, the cheek of thinking that anybody is going to retain the information that that fucking idiot was saying like, Use the OR1 button to shoot your machine guns if you do the combination of L2 and OR2. Oh my god, here we go. Wow, it's just like the film! Tony Scott is spinning in his grave and he's not even dead. Oh, he is dead! Oh, I'm so sorry, Tony Scott. <laughs> God, I forgot that. <laughs> he is spinning in his grave. Drop the bum! Bum cruise. Uh, how- oh, there we go. Oh shit, we're going Mac 5! Whenever a game reminds you of Superman 64, that's not a good thing ever. Okay. Nice job, now find a bunker and bomb it. 
<laughs> okay. Uh, let's follow the arrows. So, that's my machine guns. I bank L2, R2 is... And I can do... I'll try spinning. That's a good trick. There you go. This really is Superman 64 bar. Also, can we just remember that Top Gun was a, a movie released in like... What was it? The early 80s. And Blast, I don't know how they do it, but they just, they buy the licenses for the fucking weirdest releases. And they don't even try, they don't fucking do anything at all, apart from the bare minimum. Uh, let's bomb this bunker. Oh, fuck. Oh, this was way long before the reboot. Where is this fucking bunker? Okay, we have some enemies. How do I fire a missile? Oh. Now that you can see the targets, you need to fly towards them to start your attack run. Can you show the credits later? I want to see if... I will, Minty. That's amazing. You better talk shit about them as well. Okay. Fire a missile. We need to find the targets. Oh, I can't. Great. That's what you want in a Top Gun game. You're not allowed to fire your weapons. Wow. Shades of Thunderbirds. I mean, it's not as bad as that shovelware producer getting the Popeye license. Do you remember that? That was crazy. I don't even know. Like, it's telling me to find a bunker, but there's no... Okay. What? Mission complete? <laughs> okay. Oh my god. I'm also fairly certain that is not how uh, jets land on those destroyers. And that's my one name, Shaka. Uh, I don't know, actually. It was, it, was, it was genuinely my nickname in school. I don't know where it came from. But it just is. Oh, they kind of have the do do Like, just the, the start of it. They have a little church gong and this... It, Normally, the Top Gun theme would kick in, but I assume it's just going to repeat itself. So much excitement! Training Mission 2. Follow the waypoint, engage enemy fighters. Like... When as well you remember that the films, both Top Gun films, were just about the training academy. They were never ever about actually fighting. Like, obviously the films end in a big action scene where they have to do something related to a fighter jet. But the amazing thing and why Top Gun is so popular in the first place is that it's such a weird film. And that it's not about anything. The original, I mean. It's kind of, it's just this weirdly homoerotic study of kind of bro culture with jets, fighter jets as kind of the backdrop. But... The only person who knew was Tony Scott. And then the sequel, Maverick, is this fucking incredible action film. Um, and now you have Blast, who just... I don't know, they made some kind of flight sim. Uh, okay, sure. That's exactly what it was, Pokemon Mario Brokeback Academy. <laughs> oh, do it, do. If you haven't seen the original Top Gun, it's fucking great. It's gay as fuck, it's great. And that's the beauty of it, like, as Tom Cruise didn't know. Like, you watch it, like, watch it through that lens. Quentin Tarantino has a great moment, he, he was like, he was improv in some indie film. And he talks about, uh, the kind of Homer rock undertones in it. Check it out. Don't you hate when you're a freshly trained pilot and at the start of every mission you have to, like, just fly through all these weird little floating green boxes in the sky before I fight some fighter jets. God, I really wish they would have had the office intern do some dialogue for the game. That would have kicked so much ass. No, Top Gun is a gay movie that's hidden as such. Uh, that most people don't understand. It's like when uh, The Wachowski came out and called The Matrix an allegory for being trans. 
And then all the idiots who like The Matrix is for being a big mindless action film are like, No, it's not! It's like, uh, that's kind of the creators and they're able to really prove it. Top Gun's like that. Lots of undertones. And poor Tom Cruise, who's battled the whole uh, gay thing his whole career. <laughs> I'm sure he's not very happy with um, Teddy's terrible Xbox games. I don't... I have a, a, the Xbox Series S, but um, the PS2 is my darling. Oh! I could never be trained. How is Spy Fiction? What makes it really PS2 games in the first place? It's just a bit of fun, isn't it? Uh, Spy Fiction, by the way, it was genuinely one of my favorite games I've played. Um, it was so fucking crazy. Only because, as well, it was such a beautiful little ripoff of Metal Gear Solid 2. I think we should have counted. If we ever played. So basically, when we finished Spy Fiction, it gave us one of those bullshit endings where it's like, oh, you need to play the game again to get the true ending. So we will play it again. I promise you. But, um, yes, in a few months' time. But uh, we will also, when we're doing it, we'll count the ways of all the ways that it copies Spy Fiction. Or Metal Gear Solid, excuse me. How do I just want to fire my fucking missiles? God damn it. Maybe, maybe we'll rush it. I don't know. How do I fire? Oh, it's L2. Push it to the limit. Drunk on whiskey streams again. I destroyed the ship. Take these guys out of the sky so we can go home. Jesus. You can really feel the stakes. Ba, 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 ba. Oh. Do we need to blast talking bomb to come back to the story? Maybe. Okay. I'll just fly away and then back. And that'll be it. Uh, we're not going to last long playing this game. I'll do, I'll do this mission, then finish it off, and we'll be done. God! I get it, even the game is getting fucking annoyed at me. It's like, can you just fucking finish these guys off, please? <laughs> okay, well, I, I think that puts an end to it. <laughs> Righty-o, so. <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, we got him. <laughs> Did you on Twitch quoting? Uh, what game did I do that to again? I can't remember when I spilled my, my pint of water all over the floor. Uh, holy shit, to actually program collision? I know, who knew? Huge success. Uh, <laughs> uh, that was Top Gun, everybody. And was just as good as the, the, the sequel, if you ask me. If only this was out to save the PS2 in time. But no, it wasn't. Um, it could have easily done it. Uh, so <laughs> I didn't even show off the box enough. I should have done this. Uh, I, I do have the box. So the box reads, Command the skies, become a Top Gun fighter pilot in this fast-paced action game based off the hit movie from Paramount Pictures. I love Blast. They have to just put the Paramount Pictures things in. Oh, I'll try to see if I can get them into. Yeah, I will. Um, 29 action pack. 29 missions, fully working cockpit, and choose your own weapons. And that's all the game really has to say. No Tom Cruise, which is the only reason you'd buy this. Um... Tom Cruise has never appeared in a video game, to my knowledge. They, they made a Mission Impossible game as well, and they, and they made a Minority Report game that he's not in. I think the Minority Report guy is blonde. What are Tom Cruise movies into games where that he doesn't appear in? I'd love to know. Uh, anyway, let's see if we can get the, the credits, because really Minty might know some people in there. Oh, I'm sorry, Minty, we can't. There is none. You can center the screen. That's a feature. Um... Music, volume, language select. No credits. No one made this game. I assume it's just him being a control freak and he'd want like $10 billion to appear in video games. Um, but anyway, look, that was Top Gun. Top Gun. <laughs> Maybe it is Shaka. That is a funny thing to say. No, he's never appeared in a game. I wish he would. I'd love to play as Tom Cruise and have him in all sorts of funny little situations. Um... They'd have to make him to height as well. You wouldn't want a tall Tom Cruise. You want a little, a little evil midget Tom Cruise. <laughs> I love the man. I already have my tickets booked for the new Mission Impossible in IMAX. I can't wait for it. Anyway, uh, so that was the stream. <laughs> I hope everybody had fun. We what? What did we even fucking play? We played Crazy Chicken. We played Mad Maestro and Bomb Dad. We played Top Gun. We played Noel Edmonds. 
Uh, we played World Super Police, which we enjoyed. And um, what was the second game? Oh, Chemist Tycoon. Literally the worst fucking game of all time ever. Um, yeah, that was a really cool game. Uh, a really cool little stream. I enjoyed that. I do like these little streams where you just play a load of shit all in one. It's quite fun. Uh, and I hope you did too. Um, I got some absolutely amazing, amazing support during the stream. Honestly, I, I, I don't know what to say sometimes. Shirtless Mofo, if you're still here, thank you so much. He, he donated so much tonight that it, it makes me uh, feel, feel really, really... Really appreciated. It's nice. Um, if you haven't, please follow uh, the page. And uh, yeah, until next time, we'll get those cult members up someday soon. We'll hit 10 million cult members. Um, until then, I guess we'll see if anybody is. I'll see if anybody's streaming that we can throw a few people at the raid. Probably not. Everyone's always signed off like a midnight. No, nobody. Uh, does anyone want me to raid anybody? Anybody have friends or fans I can just throw you at? <laughs> Brutal Moose streams his birthday, but you know he's a big boy. I don't know Brutal Moose. Oh, hi, cowboy! <laughs> Hello and goodbye. <laughs> Hope you're well. Uh, where's that? Oh, I know, cowboy. I, I changed um, my setup here and I just haven't got that back. I will. Raid Nicro. Okay, we're raiding a, a fellow called Nicro. What's he playing? He better not be one of these anime uh, AI characters, is he? I've seen that Jesus is on Twitch now. There's an AI Jesus stream on Twitch, which is quite weird. <laughs> um, ba, 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 ba. You've never sounded older, Tennings. Uh, my chat always says that when I talk about, like, those, you know those little cartoon characters that stream? I am old, okay? I'm like 57 years old. This is just a filter. I'm actually an old man with a cane and a walking stick. Um, Raid the Jesus. I'm not raiding Jesus. <laughs> I can't and good. My grandmother is in heaven right now. If she saw still me raiding Jesus, she would be so disappointed in me. I'll raid this Nitro character. <laughs> What's his name? Nitro. Nitro. He's playing Wii Sports. Okay, well, uh, everybody enjoy Nicro playing Wii Sports. I hope he's a nice human. Just pollute him with knives in the chat. <laughs> Make him regret there being a fucking raid feature. Uh, so, thank you all so much for the stream. That was absolutely incredible. And um, I really, really appreciate everybody. And I will see you all. I won't be streaming this weekend, but I will see you all probably on Monday. Uh, so, have a great time. Great weekend. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, cowboy. <laughs> um, okay, I will see you all very soon. Bye. Enjoy the raid.